night we dine in hell. No, not hundred percent. Not hundred percent dine in hell yet. So hello welcome everyone to Team War Season 5 Week 8. We have Creeping Death versus Animal Place. If you see the lineup you will be gagged. You will be literally gagged when you see the lineup. It's incredible who's all participating in this matchup. I can't believe it myself. I first started feeling it when I saw the rooster. Was like, what? These people? Nani? Yeah. And now I'm still waiting for my VIP co commentator. Ooh, VIP co commentator. I can see he's muted himself. Let's go. So we have Val Torres versus Luke Tyler. First match between Creeping Death versus Animal Place. So top player will be... Nani? Isn't it Luke? It's Luke Tyler. Okay. Let's go. Go. What? Why you change tables? Hi, Dual City. He gets. Welcome back, Jeb Kayado. You lucky guy. You just won that big package of a giveaway. I will just put it uh, into like a mail today. I will mail it to you next week. Okay, let's go. So my VIP co-cast is still on mute. I think he's eating dinner or something and then he will join us later. Yep. Hi Mr. Renzo, uh, how are you? Test? Was that a test? Hello, hello. Yeah, I was doing something really quick. Okay, wait. <laughs> Whoa, okay. So I think now it's better. So. Before it was a little bit too loud. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Now we are good. Now we are perfect. Yeah. Good, we good. Yeah, we are good. So we have first match between Creeping Death versus Animal Place and starters are Luke Tyler and Paul Torres. Luke Tyler's top, Paul Torres bottom. We have mirror game going on. Ancient Gears versus Ancient Gears, I'm expecting. Oh, oh wait, I need uh... to change the top bottom player. Actually it's just the other way round. <laughs> Raul Torres is top. I just need to get the room ID and I can follow as well. And Luke Tyler's bottom. Uh, you should have access to the channel. I told Max that you will be um, co commentator. Yeah, I'll get it. Oh. Did you sign anything? Uh, yes, Jeb Hayadu. There's definitely a fan sign coming to you. Oh. Are we getting German iChan today? Wollt ihr etwa deutsche Bratwurst haben? Wohl. <laughs> you asked for German Eichel, you can't get German Eichel. <laughs> Hi, Why Irland. I asked for German Eichel if you also can get German Hideki. Oh, let's go German Hideki sis. I'm just going to call you Hideki sis from today on forever. Yeah, I'll, ne I'll never get rid of that nickname. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's perfect. It's like Niftot. It's also perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. How are you guys? Ilan, OG Triple, and Milst... 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 Ah god, I can't speak this name. I know it's Mistiltain, but... Uh, god. I, I was just saying Miss Tilton. Miss Tilton. Every time I hear or see the phrase Dark Lords, I'm thinking Dank Lords. Yeah, that's true. Dark Lord hey, Nastin, Dark Lord Ukubak, and Dark Lord Nastin. So this, I guess, are all cards from the new box, right? Because uh, uh, no, no. Uh, the only new card is the new spell card that searches the Dark Lord uh, cards. So. The Dark Lords. Okay, so it's not a mirror yeah. game as expected. It's Dark Lords versus um, Ancient Gears. Okay, and let's see that's how it does. Not actually. Um, was um, much about the matchup between Ancient Gears and Dark Lords, but what I can yeah. see just 
first sight, I think. Um, I think magician. Dark Lords have a, have a bit of a uh, better matchup here. Okay. Hi, Magician of Darkness. I'm good. We are streaming Duel Links Team Wars Season 5, Week 8, Creeping Death versus Animal Plays. Actually, I should be rooting for the Animal Plays team because there are some German people in there. But the matchup is just so hardcore. If you look at Creeping Death, who, who they have in their team, like March Sun, who was this year at the WCS, and Negao Dozab. Is that is that the Dozab who got words like second place last year? Yeah. Oh Same my person, god. Yeah. Oh my god. Holy Honestly, Lord. to be honest, um, all the players of Creeping Death uh, are like world quality players. Yeah. Except for maybe two of these, it kind of would take it. But... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. So actually, I should be rooting for the, the, the for the German team, but I can't because I know who is in the other team. So sometimes it's better if you don't know. Rolls at the top. Let yeah. me check. Yeah, Rolls at the top. Roll Torres is top. Luke Tyler's bottom. Yeah. This is just insanity. Yeah. I just have uh, a feeling that all the Brazilian players are super hardly like Vinny, Edu and all the other peeps just from like, yeah, South America. Yeah, Dark they group. are. That's for sure. Oh, welcome to Zap. It's Salve. I know it's Salve to Zap. That's all I can. And Cerveza, por favor. I also say Saifora. Saifora? What is Saifora? I think that means like, go away or get <laughs> out of here. <laughs> uh, do you have uh, um, a picture or a logo so I can put it beside me, Hideki sis? Like here um, or there? Yeah, I can give you one. No nudes, please. <laughs> It's a PG-13 oh, never, stream! Not, never, never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> no nudes, please. Okay. The ones for the DMs then. Yeah. <laughs> I recently got a new... ...picture, so... Can you... Uh, Sorry, I still have some settings to, like, command. A little distracted. Kopier Taktik von gestern? Ja, genau. Ich hole mir jetzt ein Bild und das kommt dann hier hin. Dann kann ich in der Nase drin rumpopeln, genauso wie gestern. Ja. Welcome, Chandra. So, look, you're using beat and you get over the uh, Asian Gear Reactor. The yeah. only thing actually where Dark Lords are have a problem against are battle traps like Wall of D or. Yeah. Otherwise, they're mostly good. Canadian. Uh, but it, it's not, not enough. enough. It's not enough. Yeah. It's actually still game if the back row is, not, is nothing. Yeah, it's exactly lethal. Exactly lethal. He knew it would be coming like that. Oh, that was a fast game. And a loss already for Roll Travers. That means... Tyler takes the game. Yeah, Tyler takes the game and gets the first point for Animal Plays. So, should I put my German glasses on? <laughs> German glasses? Oh. Yeah. I have German glasses, so, like, Germany uh, glasses. Not biased. Not, not biased. Bias no all. bias. No bias <laughs> no at bias. all. Look, I have German glasses. <laughs> oh my god, you're the worst. <laughs> you're the worst. I don't have German glasses, so no bias yet at all. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> Complete objective here, totally. <laughs> yeah, but I have actually a Brazilian shirt. I have a Brazilian shirt with the Brazilian, like the the four clover leaf from Brazil on it. I got it even in oh, Brazil, okay. so I could wear so the German glasses <laughs> and the Brazilian shirt. You can also write seven to one on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's go into the team score. Uh, no, in the rooster score, sorry. The team score is already done. Zero, one for all. 
and one zero for Luke. How was uh, Berlin actually? Like uh, I, I knew you were there. Yeah, Berlin was a completely different experience than I expected, but it was still awesome because the community was really awesome. It was really the community which just saved everything I can say and I felt very welcome and home with the Duel Links Meta community so all the people who came there were mainly from the Duel Links Meta community and I'm not really a part of it I'm more like a white card I'm just running around and playing Duel Links whenever I want to um, yeah. yeah but they were very kind-hearted and welcomed me and it was very cool to be part of that community yeah. oh yeah that's 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 very nice. Yeah, I wish I could. Because I, Konami I be didn't there. welcome us at all, that's what's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Konami is... Uh, yeah, you had you had a feeling yeah. that they really don't want you there. It's like, what? You're a fan? What? You want to win the match? Go home, we don't want you here. <laughs> they should actually be flattered that, the, that their players that play the game have fans, you know, so more... They should be flattered that the know. people are traveling over the world to get to the WCS just to see the match. Yeah. Instead of exactly. like locking them out of uh, locking them out and putting people into the lobby without providing them a monitor to have a public viewing at all. So everybody was staring exactly. at their phones. Everybody was like this. Yeah, that, that's... Yeah, that's... That's crap. That's something they, that's something they should have uh, taken into account for sure. They, but they didn't. And I doubt that they will learn until next year. But well, next year it's in America, so it might be different. Who knows? Yeah, is it confirmed America? I think it's pretty much confirmed, yeah. Okay. Okay, so... Damn, I really wanted to come this year actually, but I couldn't. What? You can't? Why? Uh, I mean about Berlin. I oh, wanted okay. to come, but I, yeah, I couldn't. Where are you because living? I've Okay, well now we have an Endo Zap and Diego do Zap. Are you related to each other? Uh, so much Portuguese now in the chat, I can't understand. Portuguese is maybe the oh. only language I do not understand, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I think mo mostly because of uh, players like Vini and Nagato Zap. Yeah. That are in the roster. And Puzo. Puzo oh. fans. Community they are from. So. so we see Dark Lords versus uh, Desperado. Yep, and we will see how good Dark Lords do against Desperado. Gee, I have no idea. Um, Me neither. The matchup, how the matchup exactly goes. So your name is now Hideki Sis. <laughs> Officially oh, <yeah>. renamed. <laughs> Officially <laughs> renamed Hideki Sis. But our work is cool. Where did you get that? Uh, Sharon made it, made it for me actually. A friend or your girlfriend? Sharon from uh, the muffins. Ah, from the muffins. Okay. Oh, she made the layout here, which is awesome for Team Wars. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Wow, yeah. she's really talented. Well, what she did with uh, this is actually we have our own uh, Forbidden Ones logo. Okay. But she cut out the inside of it, you know, so only the outer lines from the logo and she put the... Uh... Okay, that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, Dark Lord Rebellion would make Dark Lords tier 1. Well, we have to wait for it, Ooh, I guess. Fiend Comedian. So yeah. that's banishing uh, all the cards from from the graveyard. Uh, Dark Lords uh, usually use the, the graveyard to... Uh, special summoning special summoning negating. will yeah effects if the traps in the graveyard but fiend commune is actually a really good card against it yeah Let's see what look tyler is gonna do now i think he would just risk it yeah he's risking it could be a dekoichi no it's oh it's a bluff Ooh. it's a twin barrel dragon, prismatic though, yolo. Oh, but he has he has desperado in hand yeah. though. To look dial at the moment. Still has two. Uh... Welcome retrofusion. Ooh. 
and triple heads. He already used one coin to for the feeding uh, comedian, one guaranteed heads. Yeah. So he still had two left, but he still got the triple heads. So. But he doesn't really need to. Agents must be a new meta deck. Possible. Possible Irlin. Banishment. Banishment of the Dark Lords. Add one Dark Lord card from your deck to your hand, except banishment. You can only activate one banishment of Dark Lords per turn. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Yeah. This is the new card, the, the new uh, spell card from the from the box. Okay. Support for the Dark Lords. Welcome, Zed Light. Look, thinking what he's gonna add. Yep. But this is a hard matchup for him. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Definitely not looking good at the moment. He adds another. It's not and as favorable as the other matchup. But these things just sometimes happen. Uh, I seen it in the tournament yesterday a lot of blue eyes versus um, coin flip, which was like a massacre usually. But yeah. <laughs> but there was one or two games where actually Blue Eyes managed to win, so everything's possible. Damn! Like did they use cards like Gorkamir or Ice to deal with the uh, deal with the, the Desperado? Uh, yeah. Sometimes ha they had the Ice Lord, but not all decks had it. Oh. Sometimes they just got really lucky because the the coin toss deck somehow bricked like with I don't know how they bricked, but they just bricked. Silver's Crime is play everywhere? Yeah. Oh yeah, Silver's Crime is play everywhere. Yeah, because he activated the Silver's Crime main phase the whole time. That was not so favorable either. Okay, here we go. Dark Lord Desire. Cannot be special summoned. You can tribute summoned by one fairy type monster. Once per turn you can target one monster your opponent controls. This card loses exactly a thousand attack. If it does, send that target to the graveyard. Okay. Ooh. And Canadia in your face. Yes, Canadia. The good thing about Dark Lord Desire is that it is 2800, so um, it stream. It could be that there's still German in it, but it's not true. I put it on English. Yeah. Weil Streamsprache Englisch ist beim Stream. Steht in der Beschreibung. Also alles richtig gemacht. Wir sprechen English only. Yeah. <laughs> I also be worried why people like not expecting me to speak English or only German because I'm Asian, you know. If I had to speak something like as a main language, it should be Chinese or Japanese. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually funny. Yeah. Yeah, it depends uh, what your audience is, of course. Yeah. So. Um, but I prefer uh, actually I prefer English because most people understand it. Not all speak it, but most people understand it, and it makes like the viewership very international. And I really enjoy that. Enjoy my Mexican weeps. I enjoy my Latin American friends. I enjoy the Japanese players. I enjoy just everyone over the world. Just have this connection with them. This makes me happy. Yes, yeah, it's, it's really awesome, definitely. <laughs> what what Twitch can do. Yeah. All right, so another Canadian. Oh lord. For but he still can't do much actually because of the twenty-eight. Yeah, he can't get over it. Yeah. He can't use the effect because it's only targets face up. So unless yeah. he attacks once and then tries to. That's risky. Mm, a desperate move, basically. Yeah. Desperate desperado is this. This is a desperate desperado. No. Very, very desperate. No. What does it actually mean, Mama Akinegao? Eh? I do not understand. Do you understand Portuguese? Uh, I am uh, not a Portuguese expert at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I only know uh, some few sentences, but mostly. Uh, Mostly, uh, what was it called? Just swearing. Oh! <laughs> so, <I'm> not, <laughs> so not helpful at all. Please don't swear here in in the stream, otherwise I get banned. <laughs> oh, I will keep it PG. Yeah, PG thirteen, please. 
Oh, trap hole. Oh my god, so many traps, this guy. Yeah. It's crazy. I'm fluent in English, bad English, and sarcasm. Welcome, Discord Codex. I'm also fluent in bad English and sarcasm. <laughs> oh. I'm fluent in English and bad sarcasm. Hmm. Effetto de sacata e po poderoso M. Yo no comprendre tu <laughs> Yo no comprendre. Oh my god, speak your broken English. <laughs> Watching Dark Lords get sacked, yeah. I don't think that Dark Lords actually get sacked against Toinkas, but it might be a harder matchup just like versus Ancient Gears. Seems like that uh, uh, Luke is slowly uh, yeah. ma making a board. It means this card has a powerful effect, okay. Oh yeah, it makes sense. Effecto de sa carta, yeah. E poderoso, I don't know what poderoso means. Nice. Thanks for the translation, Erlen. Okay, now now the Unga Bunga starts, right? And now he targets the the uh, banishment of the Dark Lord, searching another card, searching the... Yeah. This is Katila Poka, or whatever. And that prevents the Dark Lord from destruction. And he tributes... Oh, Dark Lord Morningstar. And another Canadia! Oh my god. Oh. But he still can't get over it. Okay. Sanctified in the Sanctified Dark Lord. I can't. What? Dual City underscore. Ah. Sure. No problem. I would do that after the stream, Dual City. Can't do it right now because we are streaming. So now by using the sanction, Sanctified Dark Lord, he can't. Uh, the. Yeah. Is this effect anymore, I think? So, yep. Oh, and he, this way he negated dealt with effect. Desperado. Yeah. Desperate Desperado. Oh. Here we go. And Time Wizard. Oh, wow. Okay. Morning Star Paw. Oh, no. What? What was that? Time limit. This is probably oh. time limit. Yeah. Position, actually. Because yeah. even though he searched Time Wizard, he still had the yeah. sanctu sanctified Dark Lords in the graveyard. Time Raigeki Wizard coming in, yeah. Ilan, I know that Dozap was one of the finalists. He's second place, right? From last year. The only yeah. Brazilian guy who made it into the finals <laughs> ever. <laughs> 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 Welcome, Sham. How are you? Salve. Oh, he's Sham. Yeah. What's I up, my guy? I thought also it was... Thanks for the follow. I also thought that this year the finals were like... You know, not as good as last year because you had like no really internationality, like no diversity there. You just had like three Japanese players in the end who fought for number one, number two, and number three, right? Yeah, I can yeah. see why. I mean, it's mostly also because a lot of Japanese, of course, qualified. Already. Yeah. So basically, after the the Germans uh, were disqualified, we were all rooting for the only um, Brazilian guy who was left there. We were like, please get into the finals for us! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks yeah. for the follow, long tense. Yeah. yeah, I mean... I mean, it was to be expected with, with so many Japanese players actually. Yeah, that... Because, yeah. of course, Konami is a Japanese company, so they made a lot of spots available for the Japanese. I don't even know if it really is about that, but, well, it, it was mm. it was different, that, let's say it that way. So, um, Luke Tyler won the last one, right? Na wait. Uh, no, uh, Rao, Rao, Rao won. won. The, okay, so one point catch up. Um, both loses one deck. I need to correct this. I was talking too much. I'm sorry guys. So 1-1 one, one now we have Tai Creeping Death versus Animal Place. Um, do we have a repeat? Do you know that? Uh, there's no repeat. No repeat. Okay, then let's go on. Yeah. Hello, the third charm. How are you, man? Yeah. Maybe they have skills. I think the Japanese are very skilled concerning deck building. They are very creative. Yeah. And yeah, that's for sure. They just know their cards, that's the thing. I mean, they invented this game, that's why. <laughs> they know all the cards. Yeah. 
What? Yeah, uh, we've we uh, I've solved three Japanese players in my team, and it's it's really interesting with what kind of decks they always uh, bring to the table. Yeah, they are so creative. When I saw Kristens when um, Sun Sun played versus Rashad, like in our trainings game, I was like, "Whoa, this deck so good!" <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yo, Sasuke, what's up, my guy? Oh, Sasuke is here too. Yeah. Sasuke god. Sasuke tried to revenge Minato yesterday. Oh wait, Minato tried to revenge Sasuke. I'm not sure. Some something. They were basically in one team and tried to revenge each other. Ah. In doing team wars? Yes, sir. Yeah, they were. Pl ah. We were playing against them. Yeah. I can't understand why Lex is so, so you know, uh, how how to say, concentrated on you, Hideki sis, because you are the hottest trap here in the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the hottest trap in the room. Okay. Dark Lord oh, issue going yeah. on. You can discard one Dark Lord card, draw two cards. Okay, let's go with just plus one. During evil player's turn, you pay one thousand life points, target one Dark Lord spell card in your graveyard, apply the target's effect. Ugh. You can only use each effect in once per turn. You can only special summon Dark Lord in shields once per turn. The artwork is really nice, yeah. But this card is like also quite doomed for everyone, yeah. Such big booty. I try. Nani? Luke plays double Dark Lords? Sorry? Uh, he plays double Dark Lords. Oh, yeah, he went in into. He went in with his. Same deck, but that would be a repeat, right? Is that oh, a repeat? Oh, yeah, another dark lord. <laughs> Is no, that a repeat? Is not a... No, you can only repeat if you go zero, uh, uh, zero to one. He brought two uh, dark lord decks. Okay. This first deck. I mean, then again, Dark Lords are um, probably the most uh, 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 deck at the moment. Support for Dark Lords, so I can see why. Ooh. This is called Cycle on a Treacherous and X-Face Cup of Ace getting a guaranteed heads, adding two cards to the, to the hand. Yeah, it's not repeat, this is a second Dark Lord deck, okay. Alright. Then we got this. Yeah. Then we've got this. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so Raul summoning Spider onto the field. Will he self destruct and then go into Barrow Dragon? Uh, Luke has the option to negate the uh, Spider because he has a sanctified Dark Lord in the graveyard. Mm. But, uh, one of his Dark Lords. Uh, the trap in the graveyard and negate the effect of spider to do so. Yeah. So for the third charm, for me, I was there as a not invited content creator, so I can basically do whatever I want because I was there. I can just tell you the whole truth about what was going on there, and I'm not like somehow obliged to Konami to kiss their ass because I want to be an uh, invited influencer or something. I'm not financially dependent on this whole story, so I can do f the fuck whatever I want. That's perfect. I like it. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Fred? What's with Fred? Welcome Esmeralda. Oh, okay, he uses Talon Life Points to banish one of the Dark Lords cards and then... Wood. Oh, what he what he's gonna do is target the sanctified uh, and put it back into deck. Okay. So we can negate the the spider effect. Oh lord. Yeah. Actually, dark lords uh, have a, a pretty good uh, matchup against the, the the desperado because. 
card in the graveyard and they have to deal with the Desperado, they can just negate the effect and just beat down them over. Thanks for the follow, Esmeralda Sunshine. I mean, with the fact negation, that is really ugly. Oh. Alright, so he's going to the battle phase. Yeah. Let's see if he has Desperado in hand. Maybe he's just bluffing. Okay, he lets the spider get destroyed, so has a Desperado on hand. Put it into attack position, why? Can he? Well, has to, he still has two guaranteed heads with okay. the scale, so he can target the both egg shells. Let's go. Uh, yep. Hallo Magier des Chaos, wie geht's? And that's the turn for Luke. Yeah. So basically the Sanctified Dark Lord is the best card in this matchup. You don't, the monster you don't know Gamescom, Sir Charm? Oh my god, the Gamescom is the biggest gaming convention on the earth. How come you don't know it? Uh. <laughs> yeah, like how can you not know it? Yeah. It's like Seto Kaiba, you have to know him. <laughs> <laughs> if, you know, if you do not know him, you're probably poor. Yeah, you have a problem <laughs> if you don't know Seto Kaiba. <laughs> <laughs> but this issue card is really painful. I mean, he can still activate it. He still has like 1400 life points left. Oof. Okay, now each has gone. Thanks, the Lord. Thanks, the Lordy. Alright, so I'll flip something nasty. Oh. He, he, I think he still has a contact in the graveyard. Now he Did, has it. No, now he has a contact in the graveyard. Yeah. I think the other one already got Spanish last turn. Yep. Okay. I didn't pay attention. Yep. Was returned to the deck by the effect of the Ichel. Yep. How to spell that? I Ichel? Ichel? Ixel? I don't know actually. Yeah, Ixel? Ixel? I don't know. It's beautiful artwork, just keep it that way. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, I understand this deck is somehow consistent whatsoever. Banishment of the Dark Lords. And okay. basically because of this card. We call her Sabrina by Sparrow. <laughs> what? Why you call her Sabrina? <laughs> okay, tribute summon. Oh, here we go again. Dark Lord Desire. Oof. Now you can target. Oh, trouble. Uh, and Canadia chained. Yeah. Oh, it's serious, whatever. But Sabrina is like a witch. And I think that the Itchel is more like a demon. It's not a witch. She's a fairy. Oh, she's not even a demon. She's a fairy? Nani? A dark fairy? Okay. What? All fairies, yeah. Interesting. Oh. Dark Lord Nestin. Thank you for the Lord. Wow. Just healed up. Oh, oh you can't target the, the... What's it called again? The uh. Wait. What? I said now he can't attack the Desire because of the 2800 okay. booty. Has another sanctified dark lord in the graveyard, so if he wants to, he can. Desperado, but the desire is fallicated, so never mind. Mm. Oh my god. 
The Desperado is really struggling against that deck. I've never thought about this. Well, it didn't work. You need a Time Wizard. This Sith Monster has 2800 dead. That's for not passing. Yeah, it's a big booty. Can't get over it. Too much booty. Much ass. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's, like, it's like Kim Kardashian broke the internet. It's too much booty. Oh, too much booty. But actually, this booty is even bigger. It's like 2900. Yeah. And more real. <laughs> and more real. <laughs> no more guaranteed heads, yeah. Hi Edu Dapio. Yeah. Uh, did right. you get a 2019 gold sarcophagus tin? No, the third charm. The gold sarcophagus tin, they were only handed out to invited influencers at the WCS. So later you could buy it in the shop. Just like normal people do, but at the WCS, we're only handed out to the invited people. So that means Gia didn't get one either. Sad face. Oof. Double Desperado on the field now. Yeah, this will be really hard to handle now. No chance, yeah. I mean, he still has the face down desire. Yeah. I don't think that's. It's gonna last for long. Who Desperado effects? Oh my god. Oh lordy. Oh lordy. You just Bless. can't keep on rolling and rolling and rolling and get rid of everything which is head up. Oh, he had um, a Grotez in hand, so it prevents them from destruction. Yeah. Just deck him out. Welcome, Gary Winters. And hi, Bunsrago. Welcome back. Oh. I mean, Dealing look. with two. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Dark Lords has infinite fuel, yeah, it's just like recycling the whole deck, out of the graveyard, back into the deck, healing yourself up, using your life points again, and just negating, and keep on going. Yeah. Uh, he definitely needs uh, another uh, Sanctified Dark Lord in a graveyard to make a big push, though. Yeah. Because of two Desperado. It's not hard to deal, it's hard to deal with. Yeah. I don't think that he has a chance to stall him out with two Desperados head up on the field. That's just too much. So there goes Ichil. Or Sabrina. <laughs> what the hell? You know, the teenage witch. Yeah, why did they call her Sabrina? I don't get it. What was Sabrina? But, uh, that sounds nice. It has no similarity with Ichil at all. One rebellion is fair, Nani. Ugh. Alright, so both uh, Dark Lords getting destroyed. Kein Free Deep AP, das kann ja nur schief gehen. Ja, wir haben Ohimi Meister, come on, das geht schon. Well, I know Sabrina the Teenage Witch series, but I don't understand why um, Renan gave the name of Sabrina to this card, Dark Lord Ichil, because it has no similarity whatsoever. <laughs> oh god, two tails, no way. Yeah. Uhimi clapped them all, let's go. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, he did it on purpose, so it's face up now, and he's going to try to reroll his coins and hope that he get at least one to get rid of it. I would say Duke Tyler is in a really bad situation now. Yeah, definitely, especially be against two Desperado. Yeah. Ooh, he gets negated, though. Okay. He gets life points back. Oh, three cards, but can he destroy the, the face-up uh, back row? And then draw one card? 
Uh, yeah, he needs to target. Uh, no, he cannot target the face up. Dark Lord card, I think, because it's resolving, so he needs to target one of his monsters. So yeah. Psh, tag me. Magia the Scouts, don't tell them that I'm a Dark Fairy. They should not know. We are doing witchcraft here. Witchcraft. Ah. Hi, Soul of Kaiba. Ah. Don't tell anyone. Keep it secret. Can only target face Monst up monsters. Oh lord. He can't target back row at all. That's fast. Sad face. Okay, so... Yep. GG. He, he, he yeah. can still... Um, he still gets life points, so he will survive this too. But there is nothing uh, he could get but come back from. Needs contact to special summon a monster from the graveyard. If he can do that, then he like top might deck, have a chance. Top deck, Nani. Contact, or... What is this? Nothing. Okay, alright. Raul Torres wins. That was intense, mice. That was intense. Um, and that's another point for Creeping Death. We go 2 1 for Creeping Death now. Already yep. 45 minutes past. And that means they are in lead. And uh, Luke Tyler's out. Which means next! Do you cast if you think he's sis from FO? It's not yeah, Hideki that's... Bro Destiny, it's Hideki Sis. Very yeah, important. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay, bottom player. Luke Tyler is out. We will find out who the next guy will be. He gets his decks back. Where are the decks here? Right, Rotor still has one deck left. You love Dark Fairies like Dark Mercuria? Nice. So we can play Gemini's now, is that what you are saying? Seeing you go 1-2 hurts. Yeah. H do you know how I felt when I saw Ohimi uh, my steps clap everyone for an abusement park, including Panda, Zero Two, and I was like, I don't want to oh, see this. No. This is no, this is against my religion. I I don't want to see this. It's not possible. Go away, man. Uh, I didn't see it. Yeah, thanks, Lord. I saw it. I was like, what? How did that happen? I don't understand. Uh, this is not a Becky Pro from FO. He never answered me. That makes sense. <laughs> well, I am from FO, so DM me or not, I get a lot of, a lot of DMs to be honest. Oh. Oh. oh, it might have been uh, no love. In, uh... No love for you. Okay, Gregory is next. Gregory is next. So let me get to the bottom player. Let's go. Let's see what he has brought to counter that coin flip deck. Great. You casted that match? Oh my god, yeah, that was, that was, I couldn't watch it anymore, it was like a massacre. Alright. So, is, are, are we expecting, a, oh yeah, it's Ancient Gears, okay. Yeah. I think Ancient Gears is still the closest to what comes to a counter to, um, yeah, against coin flip, but I don't think it's like a 100% counter. It's not uh, totally 100% of code. Yeah. Like if you, it's because uh, Asian gears mostly eats itself. So if you break, then yeah, you're probably not gonna win. Yeah, you are like I'm gonna co pull myself today. I'm just gonna break so hard I can't build the Chinese wall with it. Oh. Oh, hi Joe Torres. Are you related to Raul Torres? It's all about how both decks open. Yeah, true. That is true. OK, 
Okay, he just got a fortress on hand, right? Yes, he did. Yes. We creeping death would like to make a trade. <laughs> Thanks for you. <laughs> That's a nice trade, man. Nice try. <laughs> You're black Megiddo and are in German community. We tested a while ago and he told me I should answer for a tryout for FO. Okay. Uh, Joe okay, Torres is Ralph's worst brother. Okay, I see. Yeah. yeah. I see. Yeah. Uh, then hit me up after this uh, match. Uh. For for a tryout. So, guaranteed coin flips hats too. Here we go. Oh, decides to go for the Canadian. Okay. Yeah, he's feeling safe sitting on the spider. Oh, instead. Okay, he's going to tribute. John Torres, best Torres. Joe and Raul are same person. Oh. <laughs> and goes for the castle and destroys the spider to activate its effect to summon Barry Dragon from hand. Okay. Well, that's goodbye, Wyvern. And I don't know about the last card, which is set in the back row. If that's not a drowning, it's like kind of GG. When I'm playing Team Wars or Clan Wars, I want to be your cheerleader. I really like to cast Clan Wars, if that's possible. But I don't know. I think there's a bias between Team Wars and Clan Wars. So there might be no really possibility. So you have to like decide for one of them. I think you can, you can, you can stream both. I think there's no problem if you do both. Okay. Like, if you sign a contract with Team Wars, it says you shall not cast any other uh, league yeah. games. <laughs> because for yeah. me, there's no bias in it, but I think for the community behind Team Wars and Clan Wars, there's a different thing going on. I'm not deep into that, though. Hide um, that funeral. Oh. Oh. Uh, Oh, he survives with the Econ, oh my god. Oh, that one, what's up, my guy? Yeah. Um, I think there's, um, yeah, of course there's a bias between um, uh, Team Wars and Clan Wars for, uh, for some people, but I don't think uh, as a streamer it doesn't matter. As a streamer, so you can basically do both and you still... Yeah. For example, Yano, he streams both Team Wars and Clan Wars. Uh, Team Wars and Clan Wars. Okay. So it should not be a problem. So I would say go for it, Archon. Let me think about it first because it's also <laughs> like a time problem. I barely manage like to cast a Team Wars each week on Sunday. How should I squeeze in another one? <laughs> yeah. J j just ask uh, your boss for a day off, Kappa. Uh, this will be an expensive day, I'm pretty sure about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this will be an expensive day for everyone. Welcome, monkey boy. Yeah. And just like that, a on the field, an empty board for the for um. Uh, just don't sleep, pig pig. Uh, nice. Home office all the time. That would be a good solution, Destiny. I'm gonna work on that one. <laughs> The don't sleep solution is not the solution, that funeral. No, 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 that one. No, 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 no. That's not a good solution. Oh, he got a gear town? And a fortress? What? Nani kore. Oh, activates. Oh. The galaxy from graveyard. Of course, reactor comes to the field and says hello. And with fortress. Uh, on the field, he cannot be to targeted. Yeah, cannot be targeted. He will clear field. Yeah. I guess the fourth. What? Oh, another galaxy cycling in graveyard. Nice. For the next turn. Yeah. Actually, not bad. Was good. It was a good play. 
Yeah. That was a really good play. Ooh. Destroys the reactor. But what he needs actually next turn... Uh, well, he to, can resummon to... it with the Galaxy Cyclone from Graveyard and by destroying the fortress. So he can resummon the, the reactor from Graveyard. The problem is, I don't know what the back row is. Uh, that's exactly the top deck what he needed because now he can search another fortress so yeah. the special summon reactor will be protected from destruction. Perfect. Wow. Perfect top deck for him. Yeah, perfect man. All depends on the back row now. Yeah. If it's a floodgate or... That wyvern top deck was perfect. Oh! Fecomedia, Fecomedia. Oh, my oh my god. Guaranteed heads. With the skill. I think he already used all his guaranteed hats. Okay, so that's so it's fifty fifty at this point. Yeah. Uh, this is rigged as heck. Oh Tails. he oh. chose Tails! Oh. oh Oh my god he chose Tails. Stuff. <laughs> oh GG. Oh mama. Hey, man. Holy mama. Oh boy. That's um special summon to Canadia in attack then it would have been game, but Yeah, he let him live for one turn. Yeah, but I think it's more like that um with the Fiend Comedian if it was the the right call then Yeah, then it would have been game, but it wasn't the right yeah. call. So He still lives for this turn. Even with the Canadian tech position, he wouldn't have died, so doesn't matter, it wasn't lethal. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing actually the uh, the Sprout of Play can do now. Like, yeah, that's GG. Yeah. And Gregulator takes it for Animal Play. Nice. Revenge of the Germans. <laughs> so, counter. yeah. So 2-2 two, two now, we are tied again. Um, oh yeah, of course. Time wars, it was a good top deck. Yeah. Yeah. Ral, Ral Torres is out. Gregory gets one point. Let me see where he's standing. He's third. Okay. One zero. And let's see who they will be put up against. The Gregulator. That's how it's spoken in German. Gregulator. Sounds so angry. I'm sorry. German always sounds angry. Alright, so probably we're going to see Spellbooks as uh, the next counter yeah. from uh, Hi, Kaz that. Hi Kazumi, how are you? And welcome Mr. Cipiroso and Calm Rooster. But that means Gregory still has both his decks and the next guy from Creeping Death needs to enter the room. German sounds lovely and very charming what they're talking about. Krankenwagen! Tell me that I this sounds. <laughs> a word uh, in uh, German. Uh, <laughs> it's a butterfly. Yeah. And that's like schmetterling. Yeah. And like that's it is. <laughs> Thanks for the butter. Like... Yeah, in, in uh, every other language, in every other language, it's like beautiful. It's like. But butterfly! Fafala! And I, I forgot how it sounds in French. French. Yeah, what's for French? No? Uh, I, uh, papillon. It's papillon in yeah. French. I remember, like papillon, and then in German it's like schmetterling. <laughs> Su super <laughs> angry. <laughs> so angry. <laughs> yeah, you got a point there. You got a point there. <laughs> oh, I I made actually a clip where I was reading all the um ways to call blue eyes white dragon, like in English, Chinese, Portuguese, and whatsoever, and then. Yeah. That, that let's do it again. It's just so fun. Believe me. I even oh learned the God. Korean word for blue eyes white dragon. I I couldn't speak <laughs> Korean before. I mean, I can do it in a stereotypical Japanese way, but yeah, that's about it. So or... so in English it's blue eyes white dragon. In Chinese it's Qing Yan Bai Long. In French yeah. it's dragon blanc aux yeux bleus. So 
very smooth, you know? And oh then comes German. Blauäugiger Drache! <laughs> <laughs> So in any other language it sounds super smooth except in German it sounds angry again. Oh my god. <laughs> Germans, you need to you need to Oh it's top need... player now <laughs> to zap? Okay, of course Nigal does up stop, why not? Yeah. I, this is uh, so cringy. You are just angry because I'm making fun of your mother tongue that fun. <laughs> That's the only reason. How does it sound in Arabic? I don't know because it doesn't say Arabic, it says Italian. Drago Blanco Ochi Blue. It says Korean. I cannot read because it's Hangul. Can someone read this? <laughs> Alright, it looks like Thanks they for the started. follow. Yeah. Schmetterling is so smooth. <laughs> no. uh, Schmetterling sounds like you're cussing out someone. Yeah, it's like Schmettern, you know, like breaking something. Like angry, like Hulk. Like uh, turning green. Alright, so it looks <laughs> like it's gonna be spellbooks. <laughs> yeah, Lumis and Umbra. But you know, you never know, maybe they playing Six Samurai. <laughs> Oh my god, I hate Six Samurai so much. Like... Welcome, Bernowski. Hulk Schmetterling. Yeah. yeah. So basically, I could read like the whole side of all translations from Blue Eyes White Dragon, and the last one was German. It just sounds angry, and any other language was like super smooth. But I have to say that German has also some qualities which are not like available anywhere else, I think, on Earth. So for example, they are very honest and straight. If they say they don't like you, they don't like you. And if they say like they like you, they actually really like you. It's not a lie. Yeah, it's the same in Holland. Basically, yeah. very di direct people. Yeah. Hi, Emerson son. How are you? Show me the you well, can't take, take oh prevent oh, any place any place stop here no place for you man huh. oh the only thing you can do is like uh, use organization and fate mm. for next turn mm. but um like um looks like gg if if you can push that's it I think he has already the deathy combo on hand, that's why he's stealing the prophecy to prevent any plays. I probably like you too, Destiny, but only probably. Oh, that's yeah, the mode. Yeah. But it's a prismatic one, so it's worth of Kyber bling plays. Hideki sis. I'll never get rid of that nickname. No. It's the same for Niftod. Niftod <laughs> is everywhere. Oh, Niftod? Niftod. Everywhere. Yeah. And I still didn't get the point with the Negaldos up. Even if Miguel tried to explain it to me, I don't get it. Oh, uh, about his name? Yeah. I mean, like, I know it's a meme, I know it's a meme, like, kind of dude meme from Brazil, but what the nude meme is still about, I still don't get it. Oh, he didn't, uh, Miguel didn't explain you, um... He tried, and then he showed me, I think he sent a video or something, but I didn't really get it. It was, like, basically okay. a black guy turning naked, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it, actually. <laughs> that's, that's the whole meme. Yeah, but what is the meme about it? <laughs> that's the whole meme, actually. Yeah. <laughs> So, oh, um, it looks like, um, uh, Nagoda Zap is in, uh, in a bad spot. No fate, no nothing. Like a wyvern and 
in a in a uh, reactor game. So if, uh, if uh, Greg Lady can push. Is, so that the... a, is that fortress? No, it's not. Okay, so he survives for one turn. All right. So what he can do is try to crash. If he has silent magician, try to crash the silent magician into the reactor. Thanks for the level. follow, so will... Enrico Franco. He will be bigger, but if he can manage to get out of fate and just hold the silent magician, he's also in the good position. Yeah, just blue boy. Yeah. Alright. So the usual uh, blue the, boy. Uh, yeah, the usual spellbook shenanigans is now going on. Yeah. He will have, yeah, he will use the masters to copy it, then he use fate and all the stuff. Right? So just in the meantime, he's doing all his uh, spellbook shenanigans, I'll just eat my Pringles. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, <laughs> Ral Torres. Yeah. This is like the usual spellbook and slowbook shenanigans going on here. Yeah. Uh, so he would copy the secrets, I guess. Uh, showing him a fate, so... It's obvious what's coming in here. I'll give you Pringles ASMR. Thank you for the follow, Joe Torres. Wait, someone said Raul Torres and Joe Torres are the same person. Nani? That music, so dope. Oh, he's just going in with the Silent Magician. Okay. Activates fate during battle step. Banish one card your opponent controls was selected. So... The reactor is in Gunner. Cannot be special summoned from Graveyard because it's a banished one. Hmm... I guess that's the comeback of the dose up. Gregory is uh, now. Uh, yeah. Like once uh, Ancient Kiss can't push through, then it's. Well, it's most likely. Now it depends on his play. hand what you draw. Yeah, not actually the same person. They are brothers and it's meme. Haha, <laughs> okay. Oh, so they are just basically like Raw and Noah? Yeah. Same. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, that was nothing. That was actually Galaxy Cyclone. That was right, a nice so this bluff. Will, this will yeah. probably be. I negated, yeah. Maybe he has this a second like one. A... Maybe he has a second card. I, I don't think that this was a misplay. It's more like a bait. Yeah. Well, it's more like to get the. The Galaxy Cyclone in the graveyard, yeah. so we can pop it next turn. Yeah. The get down, but so he needs some, he needs some protection. But hi, Kusanagi. Long time no see. How are you? Yeah. yeah that was it a very. Like, uh, that was PG. a very nice, was a very nice big brain place. If he if he can have a comeback, but I don't think so. I think uh, there will. Yeah. I think there will be another banish and it's just GG. Yeah. Yeah, it's a second fate, definitely. It's a second fate coming in. All the spellbook shenanigans. Again! He needs. Uh, uh, the Asian gear player needs a Karibo. Oh. Nah. Do Ancient gear players play Karibo? Oh, not at all. I, I mean, I think. I only think a few so. people. I don't think so. Yep, the wyvern is also banished now. Uh. 
In NCS they do. Oh god, those crazy guys. Be careful, GG. It's yeah, summon the second monster. Just to secure. That was Negaldo's up. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> so Gregory loses one deck. And hi. For a very good, uh, a very nice war. Hi. Like war. Cut your cost. Uh, thanks for the redeem at the wheel, but we are right now in a tournament, so you have to wait after the tournament, or maybe for my stream tomorrow. Then we can spin the wheel. Yeah. Otherwise, we cannot see the tournament. Thanks for the follow, Rafa. Do links. So that was another point for Creeping Death, right? Yep. Yeah. So taking the lead now, 3-2 for Creeping Death. And I need to change the team score. They got the team scores before they start their game. I'm oh, doing so okay. Yeah. I can them back at the table, so what? Wait, so playing that was Asian wrong. Gears. Is, he expects to lose against Spellbook, so he probably has a... I think they are shadow dueling again, nothing is going on. They're or the fine. game's not starting, let's call it that way. Did the chat get stuck? Because I can't see anything anymore. Can you see the chat? See the chat? Yeah. Still. So Gregulator verliert einen... Or maybe it was... I don't know. Test. Ah, it's okay. So, Gregulator is near 1 1. Yep. There's one deck, there's up two decks. Score is correct now. Let me check. Yep. We are good. We are good to go. No repeat. With Please wait, standing by. Oh, Konami. Okay, so they are having uh, issues with the dual room again. That's why um, Gregulatos are changing the table the whole time. So technical issues going on. Ah, finally. Now it worked. There we there go. go. Yeah. Uh, probably sealed to blue eyes since he expects to lose against Sparbooks. Let's see if my call was right. I don't know what his second deck is. We will find out. Just give me a second. I will get myself a drink. Oh, nice oh, game, Matt. No. Yeah. Oh, no! Yeah. Oh, what? That's the Is room this... glitch. Oh, come on, man. Come on. The game didn't start for them. Okay, let's let's check the, the room members. Hi, Eriko Franco. Uh, Gregory, one win, one lose. Negado, up one win. Okay, the other one didn't count, so the last game didn't count. It was just... Just Konomi again. Yeah. I'm gonna be in Konami again. Yeah. The game is just Konami again. Like, yeah, we make two million dollars a month, but uh, we still... We still they made fixed, uh, 1. Uh, 1.6 billion dollars last year with Duel Links alone. 1.6 billion. Check it out in the internet. It's there in their financial results. Oh my god, and they still haven't fixed their Duel Room. Yeah. And of this 1.6 <laughs> billion, I think 200... 30 or 280 something, so above 200 is mere profit. Oh my god. Yes, sir. Billions come from Nerd Cheek. <laughs> and for all the cra uh, prismatic crazy people. Yeah. Like, if you see like how many uh, structure checks some Japanese players buy. Just to get, to get prismatics. the prismatics, yeah. Yeah. Oh okay, they gosh, changed the crazy. table. Yeah. Oh, now it's working. Table two seems okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did I tell you that I fell asleep on the opening night from Gamescom and I just woke up when Hideo Kojima was like entering the room and everybody like 
started screaming and clapping and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's awesome. You mean... I was like, what's going on in the... Oh my god, Hideo Kojima is here, oh lord. Again. Nine! Come on! Oh it's not okay. This oh is my not god, okay. Seriously. Seriously, Konami, please. Should we change the room? Maybe this room is bugged. Five. Three times. Yeah. Nope. I don't think it's counted. No, it's not counted. It's not even listed in the room records. Oh. Kunumi! I think the room is bugged. <laughs> I didn't see cards, any of the games. Oh my god. How did you play? Okay, I think we will take another room then. Max made another one. Just give me a second so no one sees the room number. Yeah, sorry guys. Hi, Sike. Yeah, we are now also creating awesome YouTube content, if you haven't known that. We make awesome fail compilations about the WCS. <laughs> Uh. Oh, it's a new room. Okay, next room, let's go. Welcome, Just Deserts. How are you, man? What? It says reboot. Yeah. Invalid thing, Nani! Guys, invalid room! Nani, Nani! We take those. Uh, JD, Hi. what's up, my guy? <sighs> Room is invalid? It still says it's invalid, guys. What are you doing? Oh my god, I have a dogfire soldier, number two, from uh, from the specs. It says room is invalid. Room invalid. Oh god. We are having problems. We are having troubles. Can you, sing, okay, can you sing us a song as long as we have technical difficulties? <laughs> Oh my god, I don't think uh, <laughs> that will be much appreciated. <laughs> <Or Nani. laughs> Boy, you incompetent. <laughs> or didn't make the room. <laughs> oh. oh, finally. Is, is, is it Max? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now he's at table one. Finally! Oh my yeah. god. Oh my god, let's go. Finally. This is just like a typical Duel Links tournament, so... Everything is just like prepared and everyone is like ready and Konami just says... Yeah, not today. Why? Just blame more, that's all. <laughs> just like, what? You wanna play the game in the tour room? Nyeh, not today. Eh, yeah, not today. Just give us your money and let's go today. <laughs> yeah. I can also imagine like the devs sitting together and celebrating like when they watch their um when they watch um their in like their profits, like the financial analysis at the end of the year, like, oh look guys, we got another whale, yay! <laughs> 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 they will be like, yo, look at this guy, he just bought 400 Stoshi Jacks, so what yeah. a loser. <laughs> yeah, and then they would look like fat Christmas parties, like celebrating each whale. Like, oh, we got yeah. another whale, let's go. They yeah. will be going to the casino, blackjack everywhere. Yeah, we need actually a Konami meme, like for Moby Dick, you know, the captain who's harpooning the wild yeah. whale, and then... <laughs> <laughs> put a picture from Nerdchick on the way. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a good one. It's actually a good one. Yeah. What? No racist comments? You're out? Uh, 
Welcome, Godfather Drooling. Let's hope the lotion for it. Yeah, he's called uh, Lotion Father. Why is he called Lotion Father? Again, yeah. Finn Comedian, oh my god. Now he so can call him. Yeah. Please explain why he's called Lotion Godfather. I was told Hideki is gonna sing. Oh yeah, you want to sing us a song? I forgot. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> don't put in, don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> oh. X face uh, power. You should chain it to masters. Well, he will. Destroy, I guess, a spider or a Dikoichi and going maybe into a battle dragon. In the best case. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. Oh, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Oh my god. Dude. Oh my god. But thanks God, we have special commands for those people here in the chat. I'm the goddamn Kaiba oh, man. Canadia. Yeah. Too bad actually, because he can't target the... Uh, uh, never mind. Yeah, I Summoning guess, Bell Dragon. I guess this is the first time Godfather Duelings got ever clapped in the chat. Uh, now the bigger silent magician will come. What does that mean? Honestly, I think I would have just targeted the fate here and then attack into it. Yeah. <laughs> People are like it. What is wrong with you, Godfather? What is wrong with you, man? Oh, he suicided. Oh, for the barrier dragon, yeah. Definitely one guaranteed. Yep. Here we go. GG. Uh, right. Now it will be hard for. Looking good for the. Yeah, it's looking very good for the coin tosser. Coin tosser. Yeah, it will be very hard for Dozap now to come back. Yeah. The Step coin toss is making a um, <laughs> very uh, good use of his uh, coins. I've seen a better coin toss in my life. I think Godfather might might need like a psychologist or something. I asked him <laughs> why he needs more slaps and what is wrong with him. He's like, I don't know. To be honest, Godfather is. Uh, Keep it that way. Let's keep it that way, okay? <laughs> 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 Here's a third rate duelist with fourth rate deck. Of course, he was clap. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're special. You're truly special. Okay, my guy. Jacrasso? Okay. Ooh! Okay, banish. I'm gonna banish it, Despa. Yeah. Banish Desperado. What he needs another. Uh, now he uh, grabs fade back from the banish spell, so he has a double fade next next turn. Just hope he top decks something not good. can just fade the spider next turn. Yeah. And then he can just slowly poke him down. Yeah. Yep. But if Gregory top decks another barrel dragon and just uses the spider. 
He will he will fade before that. Yeah. Maybe he should just wait. Ball. Maybe he should just wait another round so he has enough resources to make some plays. The moment he flips up the spider he's gonna get banished, so Yeah, so that's why he needs to Wait until he has enough resources to make some plays, actually. Let's see. But the Fiend Comedian is really strong card in those matchups. It just fucks up like your whole graveyard. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a, oh, we, it's only one. It's a cap of ace? Okay. Oof. There's two cards to the spellbook play. Oh, oh lord. That is not good. I think now he's like ravaging. He's like table flip right now. I don't care. But Game over. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> yeah, like got... The best thing he can do now is just... Uh, it's just... Uh, Storm out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really wild, let's go. <laughs> Deck out game, let's go. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Oh. Okay, that's a good top deck. Yeah. That's, a... that's actually a good top deck. Yep. I guess Gregulator. It's GG, man. GG. Game next, yeah. it doesn't matter. He still has a fade life. Greg MVP, welcome Captain Zano. We'll just banish the fade. Uh, he'll just banish the back row and just go for Lethal. Yeah. It's just Lethal. It's GG, man. Yeah. Yeah, return to the hand. G. No way. No way out. Do zap too strong. Yep. It's almost. It's almost like it's a coin flip match. Hmm. <laughs> really? Coin flip meta. Hmm. We have coin flip meta. Yeah. Looks like it. I'm not sure though. No. I plays around the uh, temperance. Nick, the zap wins. Now they are going strong indeed. So now we have like two points more for Creeping Death. It's 4 2 now for Creeping Death versus Animal Place. And Gregory is out. Yeah. Uh, Animal Place still not in a bad situation. But, uh, yeah. They now have to count it. So they need to catch uh. up now. They need to catch up. Probably, uh, I hope they still have like a Seal Tomb Blue Eyes uh, deck. We will find out. So they can just. Uh, so something with uh, a lot of ice, because I hate Snipe Hunter. Oh, yeah, I you mean Ice Man instead of Snipe Hunter. I, I have yeah. learned yesterday that in any tournament, a Snipe Hunter is just going to betray you. It's like a contract. Yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> you playing tournament today? I'm gonna betray you. <laughs> Because like, I am like, Snipe Hunter. Hi Mark, how are you? Like you uh, should, the Snipe Hunter guy is telling you like you should have read the terms and conditions. Yeah. Like I always miss 66% of the time. Yeah. And I'm gonna keep those 66% for any tournaments you're going to play. And then the 66% are going to turn into 100%. And you will have at least one miss every time you throw the dice. Have fun with it. Exactly. Have fun. And have fun with it. And, and he's like... And you are like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? This is a complete garbage yeah. deal. Yeah. Oh yeah, Negado Zap is new to this. I guess we are all new to this dueling thingy. I mean, I'm new to life, so what does it doesn't matter. Okay. I think a lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh players are actually new to real life. So yeah. <laughs> we basically know Yu-Gi-Oh life, but we don't know real life. And we don't really want to know real life, because real life mostly sucks. Is it Nigao yeah. flips? Nigao, it's Portuguese and it's for a meme. Um, please, please, uh, Ben Flips is uh, being a. Uh, 
please don't use this uh, racist thingsy in the chatty, please. Yeah. Yeah, yeah racist. <laughs> A racist. Let me check the gal do stop. Yeah, it's just basically the black guy. I don't know what's going on. Don't get this. And uh, just don't go deeper. Okay. Let's spectate poor Zora versus Negao does up. That's easy. That's Ooh. enough. Uh, it's a Brazilian mirror match. Both are Brazilian players. Oh, Puzor is okay. I thought only Vinny is like Brazilian from the other team. Yeah, Puzor is as well. The Seal Tomb's uh, blue eyes deck is going first, so all he needs is a treacherous a stone for next turn, and it's game over. Or he can just pass. Oh, you have already checked the game, new box hit mark. I haven't dipped into it yet. So 4-2, Creeping Death versus Animal Plays, Nigal Duzab versus Puzor. Both have two decks left. Um, from Creeping Death, only Raw, Power, Raw Taurus is out. And from Animal Plays, it's Luke Tyler and Gregulator are already out. And it looks like it's Sealed Tomb Cyber Dark. Sealed Tomb Cyber Dark, interesting. To send that against spellbooks? I would also add more expected like Blue Eyes. Huh. I mean, it's, it's probably because of the um, Desperado heavy metas. They didn't go for Blue Eyes. I mean, it's understandable. It's an interesting choice. I mean, yeah, a lot of people uh, use uh, Cyberdark as well, Seal Tombs. Yep. Um, I know what's going on. Wait, what? Yeah. So it's Hero Cyberdark, what we see here. Yeah. Alright, so. Good thing he's going first, so that it won't be negated by a possible uh, Silent Magician. Yep, so he got already his Neos backwards. out. Yeah. Back row is important. TTH awesome. then, game over. Nice. Awesome you ace, ace is beast. Okay, I need to check it. I haven't really dipped into the new box yet. I just got my Wandred deck together, I want to play it, but I never find the time. Never underestimate a meme guy. Yeah, it's important. Of course, he's going to be a meme himself. Yeah. Oh, and it's Cyclones, not... Uh. So... Okay, Kuhn. The Negado drop is not totally out of the game? Nope. Only needs the secrets. John Vivalier, please don't use the N-word. I mean, I don't know oh. about the matchup like Cyber Darks versus Spellbooks. Don't see that very often, but it's clearly not a counter. So, does that mean they don't have a Blue Eyes deck? Um, probably not. <gasps> so, um, it also looks like that Nagao didn't open with Secrets or Blue Boy, so. Oh, fate for him. Yeah. Dark Ken is gonna act fate's gonna uh, send something to the graveyard. Yes sir. Parado one time. Yeah. Gets a search, gets has now another cyber edge on hand. 
Third card, don't know what it is. We'll see. I'll come back, dear Gudu's up. variety of decks is really interesting because now we have seen basically already coin flip, spell books, uh, Neo Cyber Dark, it's like very diverse and I like that. Yesterday I had basically in the whole 7 hours tournament almost only coin flip decks and blue eyes. Yeah, that sucks. It makes it kind of boring. Yeah. For Zomat, yeah, looks good. Dark Magician Girl, so cute. Oh. I actually brought a Dark Magician Girl cosplay to the WCS, but I never got the chance to wear it. Oh my god. Sad face. He oh, does, he gets he a Barry Dragon. Desperado. Yeah. So it's Cyber Dark Desperado Neos Hybrid. Wow. Okay. What a mouthful. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of hybrid hybrid here going on. Okay, so he's going in with Neos on the Small Silent Magician. To activate the effect to get out the big silent magician, but that one will be destroyed by the effect of the barrel dragon then. Yeah. And he gets a search for Neos, oh my god. And he didn't start with secrets Nego, so he needs to top deck into something really good next thing. Well, Goodbye. let's see if he can turn it around next next turn, we will find out in the next episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Right now he's under the effect of sealed tomb, so he can set up fate if he wants to, but he won't be able to fate that turn. So, oh, he misses! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's actually amazing for him to go. That's called RNG. Alright, so we told that secret, so. <laughs> Three percent chance for, uh, to get secrets. That is really RNG. That is just like what? So I'm oh is very hairy. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh Wait, I can put my hair like be below my armpits, and then it would look hairy like this. <laughs> yeah. Wait, we can make it this way. So now it looks heavy, right? Like this. <laughs> oh god. Nigao is gonna fail? Why? Show more armpits. What, what's with your guys with armpits fetish? Eh? Yeah, disgusting chat, honestly. Really? It's super hot here in the room. It makes up for I'm missing sorry. that you comedian quite a bit earlier. Yeah. No, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I channel. I'll try to leave the room. <laughs> because you're so hot. Okay, that explains everything. Yeah, Hideki is super hot. We have pit fetishes. You have kind of everything fetishes. I'm yeah, pretty. Everything. If I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure if I would put like Yu-Gi-Oh card in my armpit, it would turn into a new fetish. So I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it PG, uh, <laughs> I don't, don't play into the fetishes. Please. I'm talking about the goddamn Yu-Gi-Oh card! I don't know, what, I don't give uh, never mind. <laughs> never mind, okay. Let's see if Nugao can really turn this around. I'm really, really, really interested in that. I mean, he was super lucky that the coin flip didn't work on the Silent Magician level 8. But he has another coin flip going on. I mean, he, um... Nagao will fade before he uh, uh, Buzor enters the battle phase. So. Please don't Can't play Tekka do Crusader. What? Mistle team. Nani? In Desperado, yeah. Job. Thanks in advance. Alright. They, they can still play Tekka Crusader, so. Okay. So we have oh, we have now Edge and another hero in graveyard. Thanks for the follow, Mr. Web Skipper. There's no room for it. 
this is... Ooh, okay, double. oh, double Desperado. Well, he can fade one of them, but can't fade two. I see Limbing in, uh, in Desperado, but not Tackle. Well, same here. This is really a hard situation now for the Spellbook player. So Negao Dozap needs now to pull off a real Dozap. <laughs> okay, he, needs, he needs to pray that... Uh... Uh, you can't fade one of those guys, but you can't fade two. What are you going to do, man? Change monster on the field to face down position. Okay. Yeah. So now he's forced to target one of his own monsters. Oh. I think. If he's gonna... F only if he's gonna target himself, otherwise... Uh, yeah. I'm not. Miss again? Actually don't miss. No, I don't think so. Okay, so... It goes through. Yeah. This thing he didn't banish, but just puts it face down. Yeah. He thought he would have the Silent Magician face down before the effect of the coin applicates. Guess that was a miss then. Oh no, he puts the Desperado into face down position. Couldn't he put his own Silent Magician into face down position? Yeah, he could, but um. Uh, that means that he would still have uh, two Desperado on the, f on the field. Alright. And Magician will die either way. Still not in a horrible situation. You can fade uh, the face down uh, mm. if he wants to this turn. There was very big brain plates there. Big brains. Goes into battle phase, face probably the Desperado checking for yeah, banish delays one card. on the back row. Finish one card, so the other Desperado is gone. Smart. Nothing. I don't think he is able to uh, loop another fate anymore. Or never mind. No, he still has eternity in hand. Never mind. Yeah, he has a recycle in hand. Yep. Yeah. Second Desperado resolved and destroy level A before fate effect got to flip something down. Well. Look at this, he turned things around. I mean, there was also a little luck involved, but still he turned it around. Alright, so he's gonna banish the... The face down. Oh, it's another Neos. Oh, it was just a bluff. Yeah. Nice bluff, so... But I think he did it because he wanted another fate to be out there. Oh, oh. this is GG. 
And it this especially is... sucks because uh, uh, Puzo was brought as a counter. Yeah. Yeah, that so was it, that it... was very strong play. Yeah. So Anon plays can uh, uh, the option of uh, of a repeat okay. if you want to. I that... don't. I don't see Siltum Cyberdark as a strong counter. No, it's it was not a strong counter. I I think both of us were expecting like blue eyes, but that play, I mean, how he turned around, there was a little luck in it, but still the yeah. gameplay was like top notch. Was basically world class. What's going on? Yeah. And that's how Nigal went three zero. Unbeaten with spellbox. Yeah. If if he didn't miss, then honestly, you know, Nigal would have just lost. But yeah. So Pazor is just now zero one. And Pazor loses one deck. Here we go. Five two and next game Pazor versus Nigado's up. Okay, it's a repeat. So it's a repeat for animal plays. He will use the same deck. Let me find what left replay. Oop. So one repeat for animal plays is gone. Yep. Yes. Mm. And here we go. Right, so, so they got opening uh, so far pretty strong. Yeah, with library and uh, prophecy. If he's a magician, then he has the ultimate uh, starting hand. Yeah. Welcome, Hellboy. Welcome, 3D. Welcome back. Oh. All right. Activate secrets. And they talk about the miss 50 50 percent with your minion. Sick meme. Yeah, can happen. Worse, we have seen worse. Magician of Prophecy to the hand, and he opens with Silent Magician. Wow. Uh, no... Fate? Back row though? <laughs> I guess there's salt in the chat. <laughs> okay, here comes the spider. That is sadly a part of the game, yeah. You cannot buy it. But you can buy the cards. I please repeat first one, yep. I have noted it already down, so one repeat is gone. So, Silent Magician level 8 coming to the field, and I'm expecting a Barrow Dragon coming too. Shum, Jum, Proud, Ohimi needs it. He needs to, yeah, Ohimi Maestro will clap them all, just like last time. Here we go, Silent Magician. Alright, so he has a back row. Yep. Two back row. And now Toyn Cost again. Show us what you can do. But it's, it might also be like just a bluff like last time. Everything's possible. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I mean, last time he no. also bluffed with uh, Neos in the back row. Was no real back row, it was just Neos. See tombs, okay. The so next turn, no shenanigans from the graveyard. And but then he hits it. Yeah, coin toss. GG. There we go. 
Well, two cards in hand, sealed tombs cannot really do anything with the graveyard stuff. Surprises, man, surprises. He's dealt with the level 8. Even if he has Iron Magician, it's not much of a threat. Searching whatever spellbook card he needs. Yep. I mean, his out is just to banish the Barrier Dragon before battle phase. But he sets one card, okay. That's true. Interesting. Area one time. Cyclone. Oh! Cosmic Cyclone. And now which one will he hit? This is also part of the luck now. One is a bluff, that's for sure. Yeah. Show us. Monkastrama and he hits the Oh save. my god. This is uh, not good unless it's double fate. Oh my god, did that really happen? It just really happened, didn't it? Yeah. I didn't uh, pay attention that much, but if it's double fate then I mean if he had like Still... two fates set that would be just like insane. But I think he just called it right, he just cost Cosmic Cyclone the left card and was like, yeah, this must be fate. Maybe the Millennium item helped Ishizu to see what's in the back row. Also called Mindscan. <laughs> also called Mindscan, yeah. <laughs> Millennium Eye. Oh, I think that's game. What is that super delay here? Okay, no delay. Oh, nothing. Nothing, Same. okay, there. He got the right card, he got the real fate. Dimensional oh. prison! Okay. Oh! A kind of a fate. A sort of a fate. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Nice. One card on hand. Can he turn it around? Any do it. He gets another blue boy, oh my god. <laughs> uh, nah, he already had it in hand. Or, yeah, or maybe he had it in hand, yeah. So, let's see. That dimensional present just. did spice. Just not. Ugh. A lot of people play either or Dimensional Prison as a second spell book yeah. or Double or Park, Canadia. yeah. That's just like super hardcore. Alright, gets out another fake. It's just. Wood over Dimensional Prison. Yeah. I mean, just because the fate is like uh, banished doesn't mean that he can't recycle it. He can get it back with eternity if he wants to. Still alive though. Another chance, another day. Another turn meets another chance. So, everything's good. Level 8 still in deck? Cool. No, level 8 is already in the graveyard sham. Level 8 got already destroyed in the very beginning on turn 2. Meow. Uh. Yep. I already forget that uh, for Portuguese it's not no, like in Spanish it's now, and it's seem instead of see. Nega graveyard looking thick, yeah, it's in the graveyard.
I chat with X-Ray Angry Boy. I don't know. I wrote into the commentator, uh, into the commentator chat, and asked for someone to join. And here's Hideki Sis. Our side. I'm sure. Hideki Sis. Yeah. You don't. You don't want me in the in the. <laughs> okay, so I see how it is. I see how it is. Yeah. Yeah. Two times four hundred, and here's the fade. Probably gonna banish one card your opponent controls. Okay. Interesting. Okay, banish the cyber dark. But now the spider can still go in on the blue boy. Deki, you retire from clan wars? What? Hideki sis? You don't play clan wars anymore? Um Yeah, after the season I'm done with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what all the addict people say. I'm gonna stop ne tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not addicted. I'm gonna stop tomorrow. Oh yeah, I, I'm not going to drink another cup. I'm I'm just going to to sip on it. I'm not going uh, to take another smoke. I'm just going to take a smoke cigarette today. <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna stop. I am gonna retire. I mean. True addicted people. That's what they say. Oh my God! Nothing in hand. Oh Lord, GG. Not giving up though. Nice. All the blue boys in the graveyards. Yeah, so all over. the blue boys in the graveyards still not giving up. You can respect that. Gotta pay respect to that guy, yeah. Never give up is a good thing. Now he has still his second deck. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh. He's not done yet. Oh. Spell books are probably, I think, uh, Negao is gonna come in with uh, Desperado as well. Possible. But that's game <laughs> and puts animal place to 3 5 then. So if you go first, if you tend to, if you think you're gonna lose uh, with spell books, probably a sealed tomb deck. Blue eyes, for example, so Desperado yeah. is the best. Uh, so I already changed the scores, but I need to put away one deck from to zap. Yep. And here we go. Now Nigao to zap Puzor. Both only one deck left. Match game for them. And still creeping death versus animal plays five three now. Yep. Alright, so so I think he's gonna bring uh, Desperado. What do you think, uh, Aicha? Uh, you mean the second deck of Nigao to zap? Yeah. Everything is yes. possible. Could be coin flip, could be Kristens, could be Wandreds, whatsoever. I don't know what they usually play. Or maybe they have some kind of super secret spice deck, which will be waiting for us. We Vandreds. Yeah. I actually saw Vandreds yesterday. Oh, it's Crowler. Okay. Shinge. Interesting. Interesting. Ancient Gear is still strong. After six sums got so nerfed, they, they are just like ha having a revival. Revival of the yeah. Ancient Gears, yeah. Yeah, six sums was one of the decks that counted. Yeah, six yeah. sums was super hard counter for Ancient Gear players because you always have at least two cards on the field, so you will always get the full slap of the dual wield in your face, like, dual wield! Yeah. <laughs> Eat this. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I still hate Asian Gears as well because it's just it's a 50-50 deck for me. You brick or you have God Hand. Yeah. No, no in between. I love my Ancient Gears deck. I used to play my first Ancient Gear deck already with um, Magical Hats. 
And back at that time, like five months ago or something, people told me like, Magical Hat is a bad card, you should not play it. It has meme potential, but it's not good. And now after the WCS, everybody's playing it. I'm like, fuck you guys. I played it before, I'm still <laughs> playing it. <laughs> yeah, I played it before, that's cool. <laughs> it's just such a meme, you know? You can just get two gear towns out and then two reactors for no reason. <laughs> No reason at yeah, all. So no reason at all. And they, they cannot um, make both the, of them mistiming. You can chain one, but the other one is always going to come true. So you always have like at least one reactor out on the field, if not two. Yeah. Oh, okay. And here goes the castle. No, he goes the back row, the Canadia, oh. which is prismatic too. Oh my god. Uh, Damn. So maybe, maybe he's going for the OTK. So. Yeah. so Magic into, uh, Magical head. has BDK, so everyone play it now. Oh, come on, guys. I played it just for the meme factor. I loved it. Huh. Alright, so there goes the Neos Fusion, sending and probably one Cyberdog Cannon or Ling Ling. Does he have edge or cannon in hand? Hmm. Straight through no delay, so that card's either bluff or... I think he just bricked, like you called it. Ancient Gears just yeah. brick themselves really hard. Yeah, that's... Such a sacky deck. <laughs> and he got no counter on his castle because of the Neo special summon. Just fuck up. Okay, he I got a wyvern. Interesting. Maybe there's a magical head snail lying in the background. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. And then. Oh, um, I don't I don't think you would set a uh, wyvern in this position. I think it's either a deck like Sazank or Flip Flop Frog. Okay, we will find out. We will find out. But the direct attack of the Cyber Edge cannot be stopped, I guess. Wow, another prismatic. Prismatic, prismatic, prismatic. A whole prismatic show. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. He's thinking a lot. Yep, definitely. Thank you for so the you follow, Stella König. Oh, it's a breaker. Okay. Oh, it was a breaker. Yeah. That's not good. No, he must be really desperate to set the breaker into defense position just to survive. Yeah. But, Puzur not summoning his cyber edge and going into direct attack means he's afraid of a drowning or something. Yeah. Okay, he top decked something. Oh, wait. Oh no. Oh, he's making room. He's making room. Okay, he's making room for the real <laughs> drowning mirror for us now. <laughs> well, see, that's how he bricked. Look at this. Three cards <laughs> in graveyard, one breaker, and the rest of them is double cyclone and galaxy cyclone, so. Oh. I he didn't see one Asian gear card. Nope. He didn't get one monster, he just breaks so hard. Welcome to Brick City. That is so sad. Definitely needs a wyvern. Yep. Or the back row must be really good now. Like drowning. Or double deep prison. I don't know. He must have at least the drowning, otherwise it's just game. He cannot chain it because the Canadia is already out. No way to survive this, except for drowning. Drowning one time, let's go. 
everybody's like drowning, drowning, drowning. Oh, drowning, drowning. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary though with two cards that interface down. I mean, you just have to go in hard. Okay, it'll. Okay, nothing. it's nothing. <laughs> it's just all a bluff. <laughs> it's all yeah. a bluff. Nothing. Okay. Was it was it double fortress or something with nothing to special summon? I don't know what he had there, but he must have bricked so hard, it's just incredible. So, yeah. second deck of Nigao is gone too, that means he's out. Out. I know Blake's actually catching up a bit now, so it's 5-4. Yep. Creeping Dead now has the counter pick, so... Um... Yeah, what are you gonna send against Cyberdark uh, Neos? Coin flip again. Who knows? So Puzo one deck left. Duzap is out. But Puzo can now say that he beat actually world's second best. Yeah, so now you're second best. <laughs> He's like, yay! I did it for my teammates. Not so bad. 2 1. Okay, so now it's 4 yeah, four, 5 for uh, Animal Place versus Screen Deck. Now it's getting close again. Looks good. Looks good. Looks very good. Why are you actually going to stop playing Clan Wars? Is there a reason? Um, it's just uh, way a lot of time. Just uh, in personal life. Oh wait, I need to correct. Yeah. Just, I, du I'd rather just focus on one thing. Yeah, Duel Links takes a lot of time, that is true. Takes a lot of focus. Like, uh, I'm the manager and like man uh, for both Clan Wars and Team Wars. Oh. And I work him as well, so. Oh, so I c uh, can I apply with you for Clan Wars casting? Yeah, that's possible, of course. I will be up. <laughs> I will be down. Yeah. So who do I have to ask else? Gia? Um, I think this channel where you can apply actually. Who? I think there is a channel in the Clan Wars server. I will give ah, okay. you an invite. All right. I'll give it an uh, okay. invite. Okay. Then I will read myself through the channels. I think let's see. I jump ah. invites. What for FL Clan Wars manager? Oh, Destiny, you have no idea what was going on at the WCF. Yeah, I had the I had the feeling that the that the manager of the Japanese players that she didn't really like me because I was talking the whole time to them in Japanese and asking them if they want to join us for the beer garden, and I don't think that she really liked the idea. There's oh. a channel. I mean, it's better actually not to talk about Clan Wars uh, when screaming at Team Wars. Yeah, that's true. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so back to Satorius Kumar versus Ishizu Ishtar. So it's CD Smuck. So it's a Smuck. Let's go. Top player is now Smuck versus Pozur. The uh, Smug anime girl. Yes, sir. Is that also a trap? <laughs> ben um, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I'm talking to <laughs> But I was, yeah, didn't call it so wrong. Coin flip, here we go again. And you are right, another coin flip deck. It's a coin flip deck. Coin flip, here we go. Alright, we should, I think we should uh, nominate uh, Aichan for the... Over the season. Best calls of the season. Yes, sir! <laughs> Best armpits of the season. Armpits. Oh my god. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh armpits. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh armpits. New fetish on the internet. What did we start it here? Um, every time I, I'm, I'm getting more demotivated in life. <laughs> what? Why? Because of this. <laughs> Nani? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> yeah. I 
Alright, so starting with just a new fusion, I'm not that strong of an opening. Welcome back, Jeb Hayato. Oh. I think this is like, this is his Neo's fusion, Cyber Dark, and Barry Dragon hybrid deck versus like a poor Barry Dragon deck. Or man's but, deck. But with only two cards in the back row, I guess he bricked two. <laughs> What's with this bricking, guys? With creeping death. I mean, honestly, when we were playing versus Pharaohs, the players also bricked like two times in a row with with uh, Barrel Dragon Desperado. Okay. Monsters, yeah. no back row. Yeah. No yeah, I remember. I had also once like three Desperados in hand. I was looking at it. And it was my opening hand. I'm like, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> yeah. That was actually at the real life Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links tournament at a games convention. For um, real? Yeah, for real. Um, there was a Konami Yu-Gi-Oh! booth and I entered there to join a Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links tournament, which was the actual first tournament I ever could join in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links at any convention I ever went to because we never got the eight people together, like eight random people to play Duel Links. And yeah. it was the first booth which had stable Wi-Fi. So they oh reserved God. stable Wi-Fi for us to play Duel Links. I was like, oh, so much improvement! <laughs> you didn't do that for the last three years! How could you dare to do that this year? We got eight random people together and we have stable Wi-Fi. Okay, we're gonna turn in now. <laughs> uh, where was this game spawn actually? Uh, in Cologne, in Germany. Yeah. Uh. So I heard there's also gonna be a Comic Con in Holland this year. Oh, that's a nice. I have a Comic Con just right in front of my house, basically. It's the Comic Con in Stuttgart. I just fall out of bed and go to Comic Con here. That's why I'm always there okay. every year. <laughs> Mirror Force, one time, please. Oh, okay. I thought he might oh, have a Temperance. No. no, wow, he must have bricked so hard. Oh my god, not even Temperance, nothing. No, no Temperance, nothing. Yeah. No Temperance, no nothing. Okay, so Animal Plays caught up. Nice. It's 5-5 five, 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 now, five. it's tight. It's tie. Tie. Yeah, it was Fiend Comedian, probably. And, yeah, and Puzor's clapping hard. He's like 3-1 now. It was their, that was their counter. Oh. Are they gonna repeat this? I don't know. Maybe. No, it doesn't say anything, chat. I think if they will repeat, they will play. Yeah, it's a repeat. It's a repeat, right? I was just yes. assuming a repeat, but I wasn't sure. Yep. Yeah, he bricked just so hard with that deck. It was obvious. I'm pretty sure he opened up like three Desperados. Like, ah, uh, what the? I hate to see it happen. Yeah. It's a dark magic cube girl, Matt. That brings good luck. Okay. Princess Puzo. <laughs> nice. Alright, so one of this one of their repeats of Creeping Dead, so okay, it's Welcome Wise even now. Yeah. Okay now I think he started better than last time. Let me check just on the score five five. Uh, no Smack needs to lose one point. Forgot him. Um is go. that wise in a chat? Uh, yeah, there's twin. Wise in the chat. Why? What? You have yeah. a twin? Like a real twin or like a twin twin? Oh, Wise. He's yeah. a twin. Really? Like you look like the same guy? Yeah. So basically you look like this picture here and he just looks like this picture too? Uh, I mean... Hi, Max Mura. 
And two oh ho ho. Hello. Go, Max. Hideki's my twin, low key. You gonna clap or be doo doo? <laughs> Yeah, you're my twin too, Kazumi. You're like my evil twin. Who's that Maximilian? We don't know. Nam no I. Is more than enough me to go around? I don't need a twin, that's true. What? I'm not the evil twin, you are the evil twin. Cosmic Cyclone coming in, getting rid of what? Dimensional prison. The dim. No, another cosmic cyclone. All right, that was worth it. Respect the gods. All right. <laughs> Five times CC. Yeah. Everyone CC everything. That's not what Kuma says. Kuma's not here. Ha. It is salu. Five dwellers. Seguidos comes CC. Nani. Yeah, okay, everyone had the Cosmic Cyclone like in the last 5 duels possible. I didn't beat Kuma. Nifrod paid me to have a fight with Kuma. I didn't beat him up. Yeah. What is PT Expert? Uh, Portugal <laughs> Expert. <laughs> oh, yeah, me totally. Yeah. Confirmed, yeah. Uh, so Nifrod paid me once like 10, I think, dollars or something to beat up my, my um, plushie, my Kuma-san. And then I uh. did a fight with my bear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See? Uh, are, you turning, are you turning into one of those streamer girls that get paid to do something on Twitch? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but, but, but there was evil Niftod, just remember that. There was evil Niftod, he did that. He made that happen. Yeah. Made you do things. Yeah, he made me do things I regret. All getting money. All getting money, yeah. But Kuma-san's not angry, he likes it. He likes to get some action. Otherwise, he's just sitting in the background doing nothing. He likes to get beat, so he's just... Uh, <laughs> he's just a misogynist. Yeah. Okay. Another fetish. Oh, here comes the barrel dragon. So this time he got a spider and a barrel dragon. New search. Nice. Yep. Here we go. There is the barrel dragon. Yep. Shamsama. TTH set? Nah. That would be. Uh -uh. He didn't use any of his coin tosses yet. <laughs> mm. oh. Okay, so he's not using it. Interesting. Probably gonna save it for the Cup of Ace. Maybe if he top decks it. The the monsters without using the effect of the Bell Dragon, so... Yeah. Neck to club. <laughs> Collapse. Yeah. Agora dos desperados e GG smack. Yeah, summon a second desperado. Let's go. Wanna see that. Twin Baru Dragon. Not bad either. So two heads granted. Alright. So let's see what he's gonna target. Yeah. Deki do the do cast. Yeah, he deki sis. Can you actually make a girl's voice, Hideki Sis? A girl's voice? Yeah. Oh, nah. I'm not gonna <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> like, my voice is gonna do some, sh some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> ok, 
MK2 had granted. He went for the Neos, activated the fusion from graveyard protection. Yeah. All right. So, coin toss. Let's go again. Does he have another uh, Desperado in his hand? So. You can crash the battle dragon. Oh, treat! Who oh, called TBH. it? Someone called it in the chat. Who was it? Was it Sham? It was Sham. Yeah. yeah, it was Sham. So correct. Okay, Desperado gets the search. Oh, he went for Time Wizard! Okay, granted field destruction. Still has one head left, so. Yeah. Um. The question is, does, does he have a Temperance, so he can stop two attacks? This is a question. If he does not have a Temperance, the Time Wizard is pointless. Temperance is also pointless if he has a third monster on the field. So. Uh, there, there we go, third Neos coming yeah, on the so field. Pointless. So. Yeah. Wow, that TTH. Turned That's... game. Did, that did not go well for creeping that at all. Nope. Nope. GG. Yeah. I think Smog also bricked this turn, so... Ah, uh, so animal place getting another point and taking lead. Wow. Here we they're go. Taking the f they're taking the first time lead since Luke Tyler, so... Nice. Taking lead. And Prezor is clapping hard, he's like 4-1 now. Someone needs to stop him. Prezor by <laughs> fast 7-2? Nice. Also, Creepy Dead needs to watch out now because they have, they have two players left and I don't think one of them, or I think just one of them maybe can deal with... Like, yeah, uh... Smug is out, that's true. Wait. Isn't it super? Okay, isn't it super late for March Sun now in Japan? Is yeah, that, it's probably. Is, is I think okay it's now for like. Him? It's. I think it's like. Think for him now. It's four a.m. The fuck. <laughs> Aren't they like? Yeah, yeah, four a.m. Oh my Almost. god. People do not sleep who play Duel Links, I guess. Don't worry about it. He does not sleep. He's like a robot. Don't worry. <laughs> the March class 24-7. Yuya don't sleep, yeah. Yuya no sleep, oh. Kurokao club. Ovamos toma pao. What? Exactly, Nigao, exactly. I okay. totally get you. Yeah, we have no idea what he's going. Hora the billion match, oh yay. Oi oi. Oi oi oi. I would have said the same thing, uh, Mort, uh, we, we have no idea what he's talking about. I am, I am Portuguese expert. Say so Hora <laughs> Portuguese expert, let's go. Emerson translate, let's go. What does it mean, Hora de Bilhar Mach? Does that mean? Okay, we are, we are going to ask Google Translator since we don't know what's what's going on. <laughs> Hideki Mano is Portuguese expert. Yeah, actually, Google is Portuguese expert. Time to shine, March. Okay. Yeah, at 4 a.m. in the mornings. I would shine too if it's 4 a.m. in the mornings. Okay, Maroska. Nigao said to send March or they will get clapped. <laughs> in like the Undertaker when it's time to do. <laughs> uh, it looks like March was coming. Yeah, but, but it's like 4 a.m. for him. It's like really not humane to do something like that. That's why I never really participated in any of the games because they were always for me like 3 a.m. in the morning. Release the monster yeah. from the cage. Okay. 
Sota almost threw the shower. Leash the beast. <laughs> Release the Kraken, let's go. <laughs> Unleash the Kraken. <laughs> if you would have met March Sun, you would know it's so funny what he said. Because March Sun is like totally cuddly, cute Japanese guy. He looks like he's, I don't know, 16 or something, but he's actually 22. And he's a teacher. I thought he's like a student. <laughs> it's just like what complete the no, opposite. Those people... Yeah. <laughs> I haven't met Kraus Mastan, so I don't know how he looks like, but March Sun is just like super cute. Maybe I can find a picture. Let me show you how cute this monster is in the case cage. It is not a non existing cage. So until March, he. Uh, if yeah. March comes at the table, all the Brazilians in the chat will be saying, Jean Foster. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, where is March, son? No, that's. That's Hamada, son. That is someone else, too. It must be on this all one. Right. Oh, it is 2 0. Oh, it's 2 0. Okay. Wow, that's Let's like super depressing. There. Oh, it's 2 0. <laughs> <laughs> Just 2 0. Okay. I can't find the picture actually. Huh. Where did it go? I found it. I have one picture with him and Tom Fandelson, and this is the only picture oh where March actually looks older. Not guys, Jeff Foster is scared on the outer What a parasita. Oh, he has coin flip deck too. And okay. they bought like three decks for it. Wow, a lot of coin flip going on here. You're gone, forget. She doesn't deserve you, Nanny. <laughs> show picture. Uh, I think I will show. Oh wait, I can show the picture maybe in the card slot, so it doesn't, like, you know, doesn't. Um... I think you should ask permission for from March before. <laughs> uh, I think the picture is already all over the internet. I already posted on um, how to call it on Twitter. So. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it's all over already. Bef before you get sued or something, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I won't get sued, but I rather like open it in the in between uh, in the in between because I don't want to miss anything from the match. Yeah. Match is dueling for his nanny. It's now another can... set pass from 2 0. No, this time. Yeah. Like the same openings. It. Oh. So, Needs to be a Dekoichi. Don't or... want to let monster out of the cage. Yeah, it's it's too scary. You know, guys, too scary. <laughs> too scary. No, no. Oh, wait, oh what? Wait. Two O wins, Nani. Okay, okay. Now we need to clarify. We need to clarify this. What what went down here? Uh, Max Ohimi Hideki Puzur. Puzur for one, two, oh, zero, zero. So it didn't count. Okay, it didn't count. It didn't count. All all good. About the the. Let's try I mean, again. Duel is ending. Okay, they're still in the duel. I mean, they played. They both pl already played cards, so. But it says zero zero, so two two O didn't get a uh, loss counted for this. Yeah, why do I always ad <laughs> witness APK users per set? I take those, but it's not counted. So Puzo is still oh. for one, and two O still didn't get any loss, so it didn't count. Oh, that actually won. Uh, we are taking those, but it says okay, so it's not counting. Can you guys see that? Uh, the I mean, I, I, it's because the 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 duel is still ending, so now we can now you need to check. Yeah. 
201. Let me check. Well, because the... You see, it's a disconnect from uh, okay, Puzo's Okay, let side. me check. Oh, now it's okay. It says one win for, okay. One win for 2 oh, okay, alright. And just looking at the game state, I think... Uh, well. Yeah, so... Do we even record says it's 1-0 now? Yeah. So, it's one point for 2 0. Slightly. Well, yeah. We still need the official statement from the referee. It's a DC from his end, says Pulzor, so I guess they take those then. Yep. Can't do anything about it. It's also recorded. Yep. So it's 6 6 now. Super tight. Guess that's also part of the RNG game. So Puzur is then out. Oh god, he lost because of this. Oh man, that's super fucked up. So new top player is now Ohimi Meister. Ohimi san. Ohimi sensei. Ohimi. Yeah, he goes in with two decks then. Alright. Check my boys already. And now I can actually show you the picture. Of March Sun and Tom van Delsen. I met uh, Tom, Tom, uh, Tom van Delsen a few times uh, in real life. Uh, I met him only at the WCS and I realized that he looks like totally minor. I would never get into a club with this guy. Oh, uh, we I, we went out a few times with uh, with people like Ankara, Chila was there and also Sharon. Tried to get into the club, we couldn't get into the club because he was too young. <laughs> yeah, he looks that's just like 12 years old, I'm sorry. He's really tall though. Yeah, Tom Fanda is super tall. So. Oops, sorry guys. Okay. So. I mean, I don't think if Tom. <laughs> so these are the guys, as you can see, left is uh, Tom Fanderson. Then comes Marge, then it's me, and right is Sharon. So this is the only picture where Marge actually looks like a little bit older. <laughs> and that's the monster you're talking about, guys. What the hell? I mean, look at look at him. He's a total monster. <laughs> like I, I wouldn't talk that guy at all. Oh. Way he just smiles and stuff, you know, the glasses and everything. Wait, did they? Oh, they just swapped sides. Okay. So 2 0 top. Sorry, 2 0 is top now, and Ohimi is bottom. They swapped sides. Alright, so. I need to change the deck order oh, then. I'm coming in hot. Sorry? Coming in hot with the uh, Dark Lords now. Yeah. So Ohimi going in with Dark Lords, 2 0, still one deck left, it's still the coin flip deck. Yeah. Stille Gewässer sind tief, ja, das stimmt. Stille Gewässer sind tief und dreckig normalerweise. Ja. Don't judge a book where it's cover, yeah. Yep. I completely concur on that one. Yeah, yeah Destiny can translate it for you, Sham. So now you have taken all like a side of March Sun. You know what monster he is then. Can take it like totally serious now. What uh, Endos up wrote there, like release the monster. <laughs> I mean, after, after seeing the pick, I would just take it more seriously. <laughs> it's like a total monster. In yeah. Kappa.
it's like in an anime now right where like the the strongest um whatever hero or villain is always like a small girl or a small boy like a shonen or shoujo and they are super strong and have whatever o o inhumane powers and just claps everyone basically that's what's happening so you like making people randomly disconnect <laughs> For example, but there was uh, oh there was two O who made that happen, right? Yeah. Wait, then he has one deck then still left. What am I doing? Then the deck is not right. Decks like this. Okay, six six yeah. six six for no, no, no. versus animal play. So we have still tie. Um, Ohui Meister has still two decks because he hadn't played before, and two. O has one zero, so he has also two decks left. Yeah, makes sense. Yes. Yes. You keep track of everything. Uh, not a strong start from uh, from uh, Ohimi. But Ohimi. His name is Ohimi Meister. He's a German Ohimi. guy. Yeah. He's the guy who destroyed my religion about panda. What? Yeah. He clapped like religion the panda? he he clapped like yeah, AG Panda, he clapped like uh, abusement park like eight one or something. Oh. Yeah. With all his coin flips maybe. Oh wait, he's playing Dark Lords, Nani. Yeah, he's playing Dark Dark Lords. Okay. A Jack Atlas, so beat down to not Kaiba but Jack Atlas. Oh, Trunade! Huge. Mm. Huge. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, that, that Trunade is, has potential. Trunade always yeah, has like yeah. OTK potential. I mean, OTK it unless is. he has Temperance. Uh, yeah, he has four cards on hand, so it's possible that he has a temperance. Okay, so it looks like he can. Yeah. Yeah, Name he can. kommt wirklich davon von was? Von ohne Hilfsmittel? Oh, okay. No. Welcome, Contrera. Aichan keeps talking about me. See you uh. in the DMs. <laughs> I knew you were lurking around. I knew Panda's lurking around. I just told everyone about the 0 2 you had against Ohimi Meister. That destroyed my religion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that destroyed yeah. my religion. Yeah. So let's check it. So, oh, he, uh, two lost one. So, Ohimi Meister won. Let's get it deck filled. Uh, two O loses one deck. Okay. That means another point for animal plays. Uh, since you have left, uh, since your panda religion is destroyed, did you found a new religion? I haven't found a new religion yet. I need to find a new religion though. I was panda okay. religion before. I believed in panda. I believed yeah, so in the power I'm... of pandas because they are so maybe, cute. Maybe you cannot believe in uh, the Hideki uh, sister religion. <laughs> Hideki sister religion. <laughs> <laughs> With all the sisters. Nice. Yeah. So, not being part of the soul religion. Well, you didn't meet me at games convention. How should I believe that you even exist so? Ooh. Ooh. I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. What's your response? I have the feeling that Ohimi Meister is going to create a new religion again today. You didn't meet me! You didn't meet me! Yeah. Wanna see another picture of the monster? <laughs> oh. <Wow. laughs> the terrifying monster. <laughs> the super terrifying monster. Monster. Here, it's the second one. It 
It's also March Sun. He looks like a totally monster, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh my god, what a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Do zap! <laughs> how, how comes you call this guy a monster? He's like, he looks like a kid. <laughs> Super cute. Like, oh. cannot cannot take this seriously. It's not. He is also part of creeping death. What a monster! <laughs> yeah. Now, Keren de Xiao o monstro sea da jaula jaula. Yeah. Exactly. So now you can oh. imagine how cuddly this monster is, and now you are like all afraid that he's going to come to the table and clap everyone. So it looks like um, second deck of two o is uh, Spellbook's opening with Crescent, quite strong opening. If he has. Um, Definitely complete uh, his broken hand. Yeah. That means two o second deck is spell books. No repeato. Ohimi Ohimi still on his first deck, which is Dark Lords. Okay. To be honest, if it wasn't for GR and the Duel Links community um, members, which were at the WCS, I might have just gone, gone shopping with the girlfriend of Eugen or something and not waited in the lobby. Because Konami made it impossible to enjoy it. Oh my god. Yep. But because of the comedy, it was still pretty fun, even though we were like l sitting all in the lobby and just staring at our phones. Yeah. Beautiful Tay yeah. even bought like a real booster pack from a Yu Gi Oh shop and then we opened it up <laughs> in the lobby <laughs> and he got a prismatic one. Yeah. No fate, yeah. That's not a good sign for 2 0 having no fate in his back row. Yeah. It's kind of scary. Could be OTK again. We definitely needed the crescent to get a, give him a secret. Yeah. Oh no, wait, he had two boys. So. Yeah. Oh, it's nasty. Oh, super nasty. Uh, it's over. That's already GG. And oh. Dark Lord's taking another win. Oh lordy. Oh, getting... <laughs> sacked by Dark Lord's. Yeah, 50 minutes. Great experience. This <laughs> were some two... Hey, uh, Ohimi. Yep. So 2 O is now out. Now you have to release the Kraken those up. Release the Kraken! <laughs> mm. <laughs> that is really hardcore. So Animal Place goes further into lead with Ohimi Meister, destroying another religion. Player scores 2 O's two now out with 1-2. And Ohimi Meister is going straight into 2 0. It means the monster is the final. Yeah. Final player. Yeah. Yeah. March. March Sun. He needs to catch up now, otherwise, uh, Animal Place is going to win this. It's not impossible. Um, I saw a game l last night Song Clan versus. Uh, who was it again? Song Clan versus. I was doing my seven Sound hours play. German game, so I don't know what was going on. It was it was against X Hunters, and I think they were behind three to eight and three to eight. Uh, clan and 
uh, the last play managed to get seven. Get seven one. So he managed to. Oh, I guess Raw clapped then hard, didn't he? It's not Raw. It was uh, Dennis. It was Dennis. Okay. Yeah, Andreas actually claps hard too. At the Sunday. Yeah, Dennis claps hard. I also remember at the WCS where we were sitting at the table, and Max K would show a picture to Andreas, and Andreas was sitting beside me and looking at the picture, and he said, "Oh, she's not that pretty. I don't need her." And I was like. What? What did he just say? I was so curious, I looked at the phone of Max K, I saw actually it was a Yu-Gi-Oh card. And then I started laughing so hard because I got so memed. What the? <laughs> what the? Wait, <laughs> <laughs> coming out of the cage. <laughs> oh my god. I can literally imagine that, how this happens. They open the cage and March Sun comes out. Wow. Oh, you know, with <laughs> those red, red glooming eyes. <laughs> yeah. But who is Andreas? Andreas is Sony Santi. He was a uh, world representative for Germany oh, at the WCS. Son. Yeah. Okay. The okay. last Jedi, let's go. Show us what you can do, March Sun. Okay, I need to Final change. Surprise. Yeah. Should I call him Magister? <laughs> Not Monster, Magister. Magister. <laughs> oh so now we have Magister instead of Monster. Hi, Renan, how are you? So, for all the people in the chat who are Portuguese, please, please, please drop Renan a follow. He's the biggest and greatest Brazilian Yu Gi Oh! dueling streamer out there. I said Brazilian, okay? Miguel is the Portuguese one. <laughs> is that it right? Marchster. It's nice. Alright, so uh, Ohimi opening again with uh, Banishment of the Dark or Searching yeah. uh, Spurvia. Much hard to you. Thanks for dropping by. I still no learn Portuguese. I chan now hablo português. But you can talk to the Zap and all the other people in the chat. Basically, they speak Portuguese. They wrote stuff like, uh, let me see, like this. Okay, we can't see what actually Marsh Sun is playing, right? Because he's second turn. <laughs> yeah. And the monster they are talking about is actually this cute and cuddly guy right in the picture beside me, so... You can see this is the monster they are talking about. <laughs> Nobody takes this serious. No way. Oh. Okay, now let's check out the deck of Marsh Sun. Which special spice he will bring to us today? I saw no balance, so it's not primate or anything, so it could be sealed tombs. We sealed tomb cyber dark, uh, like we just saw. So, just saw before? Okay. I guess he's like still like very tired from 4 a.m. gameplay. <laughs> Maybe he was sleeping. <laughs> and they just called yeah, him, like, you need to play now. And he's like, eh. I was like, damn it, I didn't expect to play. I <laughs> thought you all would clap. Yeah, you. I thought you would all clap and could just sleep and like... Uh... And it's probably 2-0 again, right? <laughs> yeah. What is this weep game? Welcome, Pino Ferris. Yeah. We are playing Duel Links Team Wars, Creeping Death versus Animal Plays. Animal Plays in lead now with 8 to 6. Ooh, oh, he's playing Blue Eyes! eyes. Oh. Oh. Oh, Snipe Hunter Betrayal. Konbanwa, oh. Pino-san. Genki desu ka? Oh, I just hate Snipe Hunter so much. Like, Snipe honestly, in this situation... Let's just hope that T doesn't betray, because Snipe Hunter uses always to betray in every tournament I see this guy. He's like, read the contract. I will always betray you in any tournament. 
Shall we be taking long? I'm fusion summoning my line up for March. Nani? What? Okay, here comes the first dice roll. Will he confirm the legend that Snipe Hunter always betrays in <laughs> tournaments? Lemo <laughs> insane. <laughs> Just say March is the final boss. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> so he basically is saying like he's he's fusing uh, he's fusion uh, Raul to um, uh, smoke and then go into one uh, this March. <laughs> okay. Um, I was like, what was he talking about? But now new decks are always such a cuck. Okay, get countered, so no effect of sniper under betrayal. Okay, so no betrayal possible because it was negated. Also good. Alright, so he's not able. Uh, to use um, a yeah. normal fuel for the graveyard, so he needs a uh, Cosmo Brain as a follow up in or order to get over this. Or maybe he has already a Silver Scry if he plays with it. Uh, Silver Scry is also a good option. Uh, the Japanese players tend to play Silver Scry in the deck. One, one, cop one copy usually. Yeah, I play two Let's just see. for the funsies. Let's see if uh, March actually can push through. And also the thing is, even Cosmo Brain won't be enough because he has sanctified uh, Dark Lord in the graveyard. Okay, so he already activates the tombs. That means he doesn't plan to summon his own blue eyes from the graveyard. Gets out the Cosmo Brain. Okay, any fuckery now from graveyard will not be possible anymore. What uh, Ohaimi can do now is just activate Excel, target the Sanctified Dark Lord, and target the Cosmo Brain. So the Co Cosmo Brain will lose its attack points. Oh, uh, well. He eats nail nails for breakfast? Ew. And now Ew. Uh, the Cosmo Brain is back to its original attack points. And he cannot special summon Blue Eyes from the deck because Cosmo Brain is negated. Um, he, he doesn't so he's in a bad spot. He's in a bad spot. He doesn't know the effect either that Ohimi could negate like this. I mean, I think he knew, but he, he just has to force it out. One okay. way or another. And he has another banishment of the Dark Lord, so he can search again. Oh, whoa. Alright, so it takes out the nest. And... Shani Gao, yeah. Negate. Yeah, this is... Again. Oh, and he has yeah. another negation setup for the oh. Yeah. Two negations, actually. Yes, two negations. Oh, wait, he discards. He discards it to special summon Nastin. That's GG. That's GG. I guess it's just too early for March Sun. Still too early. I think a, a uh, dark lord is just such a uh, such like a fuck up. New, like just before the new box, that they weren't as consistent. But just adding uh, the new spell to the to the it actually makes them really dark really lord's the tier one consistent. Oh, he's ending every religion. Yeah, he ended sure. the panda religion. Now he's ending march religion. Club of the day. It's actually really hard. Like. They are Dark Lords, especially the uh, the mass negation effect matter because of uh, things like Desperado. Yeah, two negates, no way, no outcome of oh. this. Yeah. So starting with Blue Eyes makes me think that the second deck of March isn't as good against Dark Lords. Oh wow, but now he will really have a struggle because it's like match point, match game. 9-6 yeah. already for animal plays. It was a close game in the beginning, but then Ohimi Meister just starts clapping and keeps like extending the lead for animal plays. It now it's really down to last man, last deck. Ooh, that's not good. That is not good. He went back. 3-0 already, right? 
Like honestly, if if I knew uh, yep. Dark Lords would be this good, uh, you know what deck I would use to counter it? I'll try uh, Metaphys. Sounds legit. Why not? Metaphys. Yeah. Maybe here they are using their second repeat. So Creeping Death still has two repeats left, right? Uh. And they didn't use it. So if his second deck is worse against. Um, Dark Lords, he might repeat or not. Um, ne never mind, Metaphase is not good because they can just negate. Do do effects. deck, yeah. Dark Lords do do deck. That's true. Do do as fuck. Yep. Co yeah, I concur. It's, it's, I totally forgot about it. Yeah. Thanks yeah, for the follow. Do El Chan. Hey, are you are you related to me? Because you have a Chan in your name. Yeah. Alright, so last time he was trying to fuse some in the lineup to make March stronger. Yeah, I think um, he's drinking his coffee, like, zip, thinking about if he should repeat or not, and then he's going to come back and clap. Um, I don't think uh, Creeping Dead has a repeat left. They didn't use. It was Animal Place who used the repeat. I know uh, a creeper that used one. Okay. With the uh, with smog anime. Okay, sorry. Then I didn't realize. Okay, so oh wait, they they still have a. But then still yeah, have they... one repeat left. Yeah, yeah, they do. Okay. But they they can actually repeat. So. You can read three characters of my name, feeling cool. Boom. <laughs> You met a sibling on stream? Yes, I did. CG ich feuerrit jetzt an wie... Was? Du meinst Ohimi Meister? Wie alle wegkleppert. Ja. Ice Kanji, yes sir. But it's a simply... F oh no, it's not the simplified one. Okay, they didn't tell me if the monster would repeat Marchster. But we will find out. If he plays another deck, he did not repeat. If he plays the same deck, they repeat. So this is already match game. Wow, that was fast. I think it's just a room glitch. Another room glitch? Please don't. Don't! I don't want to see a room glitch, please. No. Oh, here we go again. And so it's actually <sighs> Asian gear. Okay, interesting. He needs a lot of luck to not brick with ancient gears, to be honest. And then everything would be okay. He sets one back, bro. Yeah. It, it might help him not to get out the gate. Uh, let's see. Pop OTK time. Ugh. Yep. Dark Lord contact. All right, here we go. Echoes back. Can negate everything. So we can only hope that March Sun's hand is not super bricky, because we all know that Ancient Gear can brick so hard it basically does nothing. Yeah. Max came by really my brother, Flips told me that. What? What? Okay, Godfather Duel Links, you wanna see a picture of Max K? If I show you oh a picture, God. then you can tell me if that is my brother, okay? Because there must be a family re resemblance, right? Show picture, alright. Give me a second. Yeah, sure. I, I, I haven't seen Max K the God myself either. So. <laughs> Everyone is talking about him, he's like legend. Give me a second, I need to find the picture. God. Oh, I found it. I called even the picture Max K. <laughs> he's even better than March. 
Ja. Thanks for Zoom. Ja. So, let me browse it. Thanks for the follow, Dino. Um, I called the picture even Mar Max K. Where, where did it go? Oh my god, hey, Trunate. Oh, whoa. Oh. Again? Oh, this is going to kill him. Oh no. He looks like what? Uh, I can't concur on that one, I'm sorry. I can't fit. Ah, I found it. Here's a picture. That's actually insane. Hmm? The, yeah, the Dark Lords is just doo doo. Yeah. So basically, so on the right, on the left side, so this guy's Andreas, and that guy here you see is Max K. And now tell me if there is any family res resemblance between oh us. Oh my god, any has Dark Lord Desire, so yeah. it's just an OT game now. Just GG. No Karibo, is, yeah. No Karibo Ancient Gear stack. And okay. another religion is ended. And another religion is ended. Yeah. yeah. Animal place taking it 10 to 6. Wow. Well, never ex finishing, yeah, right? never expected this. They are doing really good this season. You're both oh, old, please. low. Yeah, Animal Place had a bit of a rough start this season, yeah. but they, they managed to come back quite nicely, actually. Here go to Zaps. Yeah. So, I guess we will interview shortly the Ohimi Meister as Clapper of the Day. Because yeah, he went like 4 0. Maybe any of the two teams want to give an interview? Uh, let me ask if he's up for it. I mean, from both sides. And from both sides. Yeah. And the those up we can ask. Does he speak English? I don't know. No, no, how strong his uh, English is. <laughs> yeah, we want to test his English. Hello. hello! Thanks for the follow, Toledo. Hello, hello, who's there? It's your boy, Ohimi. It's, it's Ohimi, Ohimi Meister. Hello, hello. In now, Fala English. Ah, okay. Good job, man, with the uh, Dark Lord going for <laughs> zero. <man. laughs> Thanks, bro. Huh. Well, did a good job uh, closing the game. Yeah, you beat the monster, the the very scary one. <laughs> <laughs> you beat the kraken they released out of the cage at 4 a.m. in the morning from Japan. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, exactly. So you went for zero and clapped single-handed like two of their teammates, like March and Smug. Oh, they went both like zero two. Oh my god. Oh my god. Two religions ended on one day. Yeah. What can I say? <laughs> hey, True Nate is still really stupid. Like most decks, kind of couldn't play it because uh, Econ or Treacherous probably is the better card most of the time, but. Especially in this deck, uh, I think True Nate makes it play kind of like Koaki for the crazy Yeah, OTK true. Bullshit. Yeah, Koaki was also good with True Nate, true that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, what, what, what were your, your expectations of the deck going into this war? <sighs> yeah, that's a good question. Like, I thought, okay, it's a good matchup, an alright matchup versus the coin flip, because you can True Nate their ship, go for either contact into Superbia and two summon one in attack and then desire yeah. or go into Nesten and then summon one from grave to desire so it's a good deck to OTK those early but other than that like I haven't tested the matchups too much to be honest like if mostly I've tested against magnets this deck really claps magnets but other than that I don't have too much actual experience with it okay. I see I see yeah, no, <laughs> just by the looks like of it, it it looks like the it's almost like the deck has no bad matchups. But then again, you need to, like you said, you need more testing. I think there is uh, yep. no real counter yet because the deck is too new for people to understand how the mechanics work to have the counter for it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, like I honestly I can 
name a deck yeah, on top of my head that can actually counter. Maybe Spellbox, but to agree, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe Spellbox if they get like the turn one perfect setup with Fate and Silent Magician behind, but like yeah. if you have two starters anyway, like an X-Chow and the Banishment or Contact and the Banishment and the way to drop some dudes, it's not like... Mm -hmm. Like you can still push through that. It's not, it's not 100% impossible. Even if they have full setup, it's kind of scary. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Well, we'll see how the deck uh, will perform uh, in. In the MCS in... or. What? I don't know if there's. Uh, I don't know if there's MCS. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm just talking about uh, in tournaments in general. Okay. Yeah. I think we will see it now more often. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, for sure. And definitely. I'm definitely, I mean, I'm definitely going to see it on the ladder anyway. So when when you hit legend, yeah. you will see all that bullshit coming up on you. <laughs> Not looking forward on playing on the ladder with any deck right now. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, especially with this deck. Yeah. Again. The, uh, does the chat have? Job. Yeah, good job. Does the chat has any questions for Mr. Ohimi Meister? Oh yeah, why the hell is your name Ohimi Meister? Uh, uh, what, what, what's what is Ohimi? That's a uh, German <laughs> like it's a shortcut for like uh, the part in the like it's uh, really hard to explain and it's stupid as fuck. But uh, like if you do a math exam in Germany, a big math exam, there is two parts. Yeah, like if you do one with your calculator, uh, calculator and one without, yeah. and the part without calculator, like the shortcut for that is Ohimi, and I thought it was funny. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I, I had like a math teacher. It was a really sweet uh, elderly w woman, and like the way she said it cracked me up every time. Uh huh. That okay, that good. means you oh. did your math cal uh, your math test without a calculator. Of course, fuck yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you. I'm a I'm a hard I'm a bad guy. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Himi can do math. He's not one of us. <laughs> He can do math, Jesus and maybe he Christ. even reads the cards, so not one of us. Yeah, I mean, he was calculating every turn, like, if he had a game or not, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. like the match against coin flip. Like, I was not sure if I should set uh, Uko or not, but... Uh, as soon as I x chat and drew into the Trunade, I was like, okay. There's GG. no way he, he can OTK me, yeah. and I can just shit out two monsters out <laughs> and win. This is basically the Kaiba skill. Uh, screw the rules, I've got money, I'm just gonna summon three level 10 monsters now. Goodbye. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, FM Sulquim. So, um, someone in the chat had a question and he wrote, Why is Brohimi so damn sexy? What is your answer <laughs> to that? <laughs> uh, I don't know, it definitely can't be because I don't read cards, because as everybody knows, like reading card text makes you more <laughs> unsexy. <laughs> So, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I can't answer. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it looked like that you were guys who were having a bad time, you know, in the beginning. Yeah, in the, the beginning, war. yeah. The creeping deaths were like you're clapping really hard, as especially Nagaldo's up. He did some big brain plays there. Yeah. Like, that one. Basically, what was kind of Monka S was, I think it was when he had already Puzor in and he had the Desperado and we had the place and then we just rolled the triple tails and he can completely take the game from there. That was so poop, yeah. yes, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like, honestly, I felt I felt that one. But sometimes it I just happens. Damn Kaiba man. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the Sever wants him, wants you to teach him, but I don't know what he wants you to teach him. He didn't say it. Like, go into the box, pick up three banishments, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and two tunades and GG. <laughs> two I mean, it's not like it completely plays itself, but this OTK variant, like the OTK play, is uh, mostly the same. Like you can, if you don't get to OTK, you can control forever and ever. That's also I'm the goddamn kind maybe of a man. thing that uh, stuff like Kwaki can't couldn't do, which might make this even more cancer than Kwaki. Who knows? But uh, if you don't go for the OTK play, you can recycle your traps and definitely gain life points, uh, resummon your dudes from the grave and ever. It's uh, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it definitely looks <laughs> like a deck to to watch. 
do it from now on. Yeah. So I guess the chat doesn't have any questions left. Do you have something you want to tell us? To, to the world! Uh, yeah. Any shoutouts? I don't know, sh shoutouts to my team. They were really nice shoutouts to... I guess shoutouts to the... Uh, to Faceless Duelists, who we played against yesterday. Because they played... Uh, I think they were the first to play Dark Worlds like this, CZ Mondo. Maybe someone played it before, but... Yeah, that's why I thought, okay. He, cla he just clapped me a lot with it, maybe this is the way. And it turned out that it was the way. So, shoutouts to my team, shoutouts to Mondo. Shoutouts oh. to the German Duel Link server. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Destiny asks you, uh, asks you if you can marry him. I don't know, is it legal yet in Germany? I guess we could. Like gay marriage? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> we'll find a way. Oh, Marshman just wrote GG's. Sorry. Yeah. So I guess if there are no questions left, like no real questions for uh, Ohimi Meister, <laughs> <laughs> instead of just asking, would you marry me? Are you gay? And stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, we want to keep that private, okay? So um, thanks for everyone. Thanks for the team Creeping Death to deliver this great match. Also for all the participants from Animal Place. Also for Vini who got benched. She didn't even get to play one game. Thank you, Ohimi Meister. Yeah. <laughs> you benched yeah, thank him. Thank you, man. Yeah, thank you, you man. You, you bench I mean, that guy. I think guy. I was more confident in Vinny than in my second deck because I had some side cards against Dark Lords, but they didn't have any Dark Lords, so my second deck was kind of useless. Bad. Yeah. So and uh, yeah, so thanks for uh, Hideki Sis joining me for co-casting today. Oh my God, Hideki Sis. <laughs> yeah, because otherwise it would be super boring, and it's always more fun with two casters because one has to take care of the streaming stuff and the other can sing a song to keep this thing the show going you know <laughs> that's very important yeah and i thanks all the viewers for watching us talking nonsense showing pictures from the wcs and release the kraken <laughs> kraken pictures were best and max k don't forget about it yeah um i wish i could <laughs> also interview one from the creeping deaf peop people or from the creeping deaf team but most of them don't speak English, so no gal wrote that he no fala ingles. And um, yeah, match son, in English is okay, but I think it's still f too early for him. And I don't know about the other guys. <laughs> and, uh, the other guys speak English, there's no problem. Oh yeah, okay. So, if you guys have no questions left, shout out to Hideki Sis. Do you have something to say to the world? <laughs> no. No, okay. Then I wish everyone good night. I wish everyone good night, and I hope that um, another Team Wars game is on, so I can raid into it. That would be perfect. Let me check. Yep. Okay, so uh, we could raid into. Oh, we could actually raid into Jarabian. Because last Bob. week we raided into your homie Duck, and this week we could raid into Jarabian. He hasn't been streaming for a very long time. Yeah. Okay, let's right. go. Let's read into like Arabian. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. So there's a lot of love in the chat, I guess. <laughs> and everyone is gay now. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's okay to gay. be gay. Oh, at the same time. If you are gay, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, see ya guys tomorrow. Thank you and bye bye. Good night. Enjoy the Arabian stream. Bye. Bye. I will bye. end. I will end my stream here.